fucking do it, man. Pressing play. Hopefully the audio records. This is... Well, this could be like that one episode... That we had to re... That we... That we just deleted. That the people never saw. The people never saw. I, I did think... Didn't we say that we were like ad libber or something? It was like, oh, yeah. I know, think for like 30 seconds, that, 10 seconds, we took that seriously. Yeah, and yeah. And then we're like, fuck that. No. Well, it's been a while. Like, yeah, I know. Going? How you going? Thank you. For, hello for... This is feels so odd now. Does it's it? It's been too long. Nah. Uh, hello. Welcome to Milky Toucan. Thank you for watching, subscribing, following, smelling, sniffing, tasting, whatever you want. Like, hopefully, how are you going? Hopefully you're doing well. Yeah. This is number one Australian podcast, uh, not sponsored by anyone. Mm-hmm. Just how... Top top uh, 1% podcast. No help from anyone. Not a soul. Not a, not, not a, not a soul. We ain't got souls. Yeah. I mean... I've got a bit of ginger. So. Yeah. yeah. Um, how you been? Yeah, good. I'm tired. Tired? How about you? you should... I'm tired as T- well. <laughs> tired as well, yeah. Tired. Uh, if you're here, for the audio listeners, if you're here clacking around. Um, it's handheld time, baby. We're holding the mics in our hand because uh, we're in South Australia. Rags is living in... Victoria. In an undisclosed location. <laughs> it's called... been disclosed like nine times. Uh, has it? Yeah. Uh, okay. I've. I think. I don't think I've ever said it. Yeah. Because I've been like. Uh, I'm just. <laughs> anyway, we won't say. It. Um. So he's down here for the weekend. He's got shit going on. He's yep. doing things. What else have you done this weekend, my guy? This weekend, I uh, basically get my firearms license approved, my guys. So. This was the final one. Yeah. Well, the final one was a couple of weeks ago. This one's like, yo, we we'll sign you off. Okay. So today I did some shotgun and rifle training. That's fun. How good was that? Good fun. Yeah. What Shot- do you enjoy more? Rifles or shotguns? Shotguns is like you feel like a baddie, you know? Like you shoot the shotguns. Like a man. Oh, yeah. And it's like, whoosh. Um, some hair in the chest. Yeah, literally. I've, I've got to make sure. I might be leaning out of and, it. And the shotgun I, sh- I shot, it was like, a under, it was like a seven shot seven shot shotgun with, uh, it's a bolt action. Okay. So you just ch- ch- crank it each gotcha. time. And uh, you f- the bottom of it, when you're reloading, it's like Master Chief. Because it's the same, like, dunk, oh, dunk, right, dunk. Gotcha. it's sick. Satisfying. So cool, yeah. Oh, okay, so it's a tube magazine, gotcha. Yeah, All right. yeah. Cool. It was satisfying, my guy. Yeah, could you let him rip pretty quick if you... I didn't try. Okay. But, yeah, you, you can. Could've. You can let them rip. Yeah. Because mm. whenever I see a, a lad with, like, a lever action, I remember seeing a dude, like, basically, like, Modern Warfare 2, like, what was it, um, model... 1887 or whatever, mm. 1888, and it's just someone rocking around with a Kimbo of them and just shooting. And when they're a Kimbo, they leave reaction flipped it like yeah. that. I've seen some people actually do that in real life, and I'm like, that's fucking nuts. Yeah, it's like pretty impressive. Well, the the good people can actually when you play when you do three guns, um, they they can load two shells at, at the time. same time. Yeah, and it's like that's cool. Yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. they'll have four in their hands and go. Yeah, yeah, and it's like it's four shots done. Yeah. Yeah, it's pretty crazy. It's wild, man. Some serious skills, man. Have you seen the guy who like? It's it's based on the Indian, um, like an, some Indian. Uh, maybe it was the Comanches. Um, basically, it's the there's an Indian like American Indian like bow style, um, and the way they use the bow was they would shoot like three arrows off of one pull string, pretty much. Like oh, okay. In one draw, they'd go. They basically could like go three arrows. No and hit th- like shoot three targets with under a second. So would they let loose, and when they like let the bowstring go, would it shoot all three at the same time, or would they go? They I think hold one, these one, two. one. Gotcha. But it's like fast. Yeah. I don't know how they do it. Yeah. It's it, it baffles people, me. People think that about the English. They go, "Oh, the English had a specific type of bow." They didn't. Mm. They were just trained really well, mm. and they there wasn't like, a, "Oh, they use this type of wood or this type of you know." They were just trained really well. Um, but yeah, no shit. It's so crazy. Fucking cool, man. So what else has been cracking? Um, you've been doing guns. That's why you're here. Guns. How, been, uh Geelong. I've been collecting or Pokemon Melbourne. Pokemon cards. How's that going? A lot. A lot. A bid you got a lot of them. Cost a lot of money. Yeah. I, need, I, need, I should like not be trying to invest in so many like things that cost money. Like shooting costs a lot. Pokemon cards cost a lot. <laughs> and I keep buying them from people, <laughs> and I'm being an idiot. Like I'm buying them from people, like a stooge, because basically my journey, my journey is I want to collect one of each, like one of every single card. Okay. Big big ask. How many are there? Well, it's like 
probably like let's say this would be safe to say it's two hundred per set. I don't know how many sets there are, but I reckon it's like four twenty sets to say. It's about four thousand cards. Damn. I've got a thousand cards already. But a lot of the duplicates. Yeah, I was gonna say what do you reckon percentage mm. wise, how many are Yeah. So yeah, it's like big bananas, man. Yep. So I I don't know whether it's unhealthy for me to like for my wallet to do this. But maybe I need to put some restraints on. Well, there's but sli- I just you know they're slightly appreciating, right? Yeah, there is, but there is aspect. But at the moment, I'm like the financial market's so stinky right now. Who knows what the fuck? I have happen. no interest even thinking about it. Yeah. Or even like trying to like deliberate and go, oh, I'm just gonna save some money and put it in my bank account so that when it's shit, I'll put money in. Yeah. I'm like, no. Yeah, when it's when it turns around. Yeah. So I took money out of the uh, took money out of the the stocks to see how it goes because I reckon it's gonna crash. Um, not financial advice, it's just personal actions. Yep. So I've got money sitting there waiting just to buy back. Um, but the crash... <laughs> Unironically considering buying rubies. You are? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I've been Because consider- I think it's still doing pretty good. I'm considering buying gold. Yeah. But I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. As in rubies, as in like rupees. Yeah, as in sorry. Your Russian. Yeah, yeah, Russian. Rubles. Sorry, what the fuck did I say? Rubies. Rubies. Sorry. Yeah, right. I pronounced it. You, you, you pronounced it how you I, thought I it was it spelled in Tarkov. Yeah. No, no, no. I spelled it correct in my head. But anyway. Yeah, yeah. Um, yes, no. But we'll fucking see. Um, I just want to buy, I'm considering buying gold just for the, the, that reason. Yeah. But yeah. I don't want to like long or push like two grand on gold, you know? You could buy probably a little fucking coin for 500 bucks. Yeah, it might do. Um, I yeah, just want to be protected from runaway economy because, like, we've we've we probably both watched the Economist stuff, and it's like interest rates go up to five percent, the house market is going to go because mm-hmm. or something's going to happen. Either houses will stay in price because people won't sell it, but a lot of people won't be able to afford their mortgages. I mean, you're talking about you know if the interest rates go to four percent, five percent now, mm-hmm. um, paying five percent on a million dollar house, which isn't the median house price like eight hundred thousand. Yeah, I mean, yeah, it's something something it's ridiculous. Less, but like yeah. it's per state, but yeah. the states where it matters, it's yeah. like eight hundred thousand. I think in Sydney it's over a million. So fifty grand a year on interest alone, people cannot afford that. Yeah. Um, so yeah, a lot of people have been saying, you know, get your fixed mortgage now, and hope that you can pay off a good amount in the whatever contract you sign, two three years. Um, yeah. But you know, there's pros and cons. But um, yeah, so. With, you know, the interest of the people, the YouTube channel we talked about um, last episode. Yep. Um, we'll see if they're right. So the RBA's plan is to uh, to increase interest rates temporarily and then... They've already increased it by 0.75 and they're in coming up now-ish. I don't know my dates, but I think there's going to be an increase of 0.5 again. Yeah, that's July. That's like in the and next that, week. And that's two. the follow-up from the American interest rate Fed, change. Yeah. So as 1.25% well, 125 basis points increase yep. in like less than three months. Yeah. That's huge. Yeah. So, well, yeah, historically it's not, but in the last 20 years it is. So we'll see what the fuck happens. Well, fi- like in, ter- in regards to the average investor, that's huge in terms of like what like you're being like a debtor. Like maybe, yeah, 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 oh, yeah, for sure. So, um, so, and then, so the RBA is saying, oh yeah, we'll increase them. Fight inflation. That's not how you do it. You've got to start to, to do that. You've got to increase the interest rate by more than there is inflation. While we're getting five, six percent inflation, there was you've got to increase the interest five, rate to six above percent. that. So good you luck. You're talking about per, per quarter. Yeah. Well, no, that's annually. So they're already fucked now. So if they put it there now, that could. But isn't isn't the inflation is like marked earmarked over like eight percent? And well, that's on their figures. They, well, I don't know how Australia was. I thought last quarter we were like 5.7 or 6 or something like that. I don't know. But I thought it was like 8% on their figures. But it's like really, it's like in, in 15 or something. 20 like something, 30. Yeah. Well, you, you've straight up got consumer inflation of like 40%. You've got pe- petrol prices increased by 40%. Yep. Oh, it's, it's the war. Yeah. Okay, why was it that the problem before the war started? Right. You know. A retarded, anyway. So, so yeah, anyway. So they're going to increase it. And then they're going to decrease it. That's what they've said. Um, so really, I think that that show... Um, did yeah. you end up watching it? Or parts of it? In the interest of the people? Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. Long story short, they've done follow-ups. And it's basically like, 
They either uh, surrender to inflation, which is what other countries are doing. Mm. Um, Japan. Yeah, Japan's done that. Um, I think England's surrendered. We've said we're surrendering. Sorry, we've said we're going to surrender, but who knows? What does that even mean? Meaning that we keep the interest rates low or we bring them back down again so that we just go, hopefully the economy recovers and we keep the cheap money going and then it's yeah. fine, which historically has never worked. This isn't a way to fight. So surrendering is not a good idea? No, because then we'll have hyperinflation. Yeah. So the only other way is to force a recession and then we fucking dial it back and then fucking pray that the crash is just kind of like us in the Great Depression where instead of like America, it lasted for 11 years and seven of those years were prolonged by the Fed. Um, ours lasted 18 months and it yep. was super harsh. We had higher unemployment, but ours, I think our unemployment peaked at 33%, which is fucking huge. Yeah. A third of people were unemployed, mm. whereas theirs peaked at, I think it was 24. Yep. So, but you ask just, you know, 18 months. Or 11 years. 11 years. Uh, you know, but don't get me wrong. The depression wasn't all bad for people that were farmers. A lot of farmers were just like, I didn't notice anything. I grew mm. everything. I just sold stuff and it wasn't selling as well. But I personally, food food on the table. You know, yeah, that's the one thing I need to figure out. Like, I don't want to like panic buy, but I do want to buy some like long life, shelf life stuff. Yeah. Um, just to be careful and safe. Because like, it's no different to having like, you know, being in a flood or... Just get some chickens. Being disconnected from the world. Like, you, you know, having 10 kilos of rice looking good um and especially with you know things are worth a lot like you know a bag of rice goes from six dollars to nine hundred dollars mm. which could happen i mean could right happen. now like you're talking about you know wages are 30 percent or less effective than they were 20 months uh, 20 months ago mm. so you're ready there like you're literally discounting the price of your money like, can, like people's money so easily but on the upper end, where people who are billionaires aren't affected by that anyway, they're fucking giving. Um, I don't give a shit. Well, they were giving heaps of ca- um, money flow. Like Harvey Norman was given millions oh, and right. millions. It's yeah, 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 yeah. so, like so they were counted for that. That they accounted for that. Like you know, issue that like surplus because they were giving, being given it all mm-hmm. of it. Mm-hmm. We no, not me. No. Yeah, so it's quite funny. Um, so we'll see what happens, um, but. Uh, if, because who knows if they flip it, if the RBA flip and they do what they've said, which is they're going to increase it, then they're going to drop it again. Um, then we're fucked. But who knows? Public. Do you think we or just in, like Australia's fucked? Yeah. Why is that? Because then we'd have hyperinflation. I mean, we're already fucking inflating pretty historically quick. Mm. Um, we're at trillion dollars of debt. Yeah, so that's not good. No. Um, think of just the payments on that. I blame Labor. <laughs> yeah well they're in now literally so, you know. if the recession did happen I would wonder what happens to the laws like when you're becoming a thing where it's like the food's fighting you have to fight for food on the table you know everyone has to be on rations which would be great for like people's weight loss journeys um, <laughs> like what would happen with like all the gun all the gun laws and all the other laws which are like only there because life is good but when life is not good when you actually need to go and hunt mm. and you need to go fend for yourself is oh. it still going to be a status quo absolutely there, there will be I think but it's like it's just weird because like the system won't be existent like, the system won't be there if you're about an 18 month of recession mm. the system won't be there that's a, that's a good question actually I do wonder how like for in, in different countries the frequency of like national parks were visited throughout the world during a financial crisis. Mm-hmm. Like if some people like, who knows, were rurally living, but they weren't um, like farmers or anything. They just lived out in town mm-hmm. kind of thing. If they actually were close to a, you know, a private, um, you know, a private park or a national park and they had the opportunity to go hunting. I wonder if they they went more mm-hmm. or, you know, they paid more or something like that. That's a good question actually. But it's more like, Will those dumb laws be in place? Because it's like... They're not going to reverse them. They're not going to be like, hey, look, we know you're doing bad and you want the opportunity to feed yourself. Here you go. We'll relax the laws, even we'll lax, temporarily. Relax we'll the surveillance laws. There's no fucking way they're doing No that. way. Relax we'll the surveillance laws. Yeah. the fa- Have you heard about the face ID in SA? Please tell me. They've just... They've just I, I know think that that's over a week and a half ago. Run the mall. SA, SA, SA poll just went, hey... Uh, 
This is good for crimes, well, solving crimes, face to facial recognition on like in all streets. Yeah, I think it's trying to they're trying to get it CBD wide, whereas it was specifically fucking like King, uh, not King William. I think it was like Rundle Mall kind of thing, mm. um, or maybe there was none and it was just it was just footage like stock footage and now face ID. And uh, I forget the fucking police commissioner's name, Mar- St- uh, not Stephen Marshall, Grant Stevens. Thanks, Grant Stevens. Um, yeah, he's just like, if this helps, I, I forget the quote, but if you really take it out of context, um, it's pretty fucking scary. It's like, if it's going to help with, uh, you know, crimes, I'm all for it. And I was like, yeah, that could be taken out of context and really bad. As in if it's going to help crime. Yeah, like, no, no, as in like help the police mm. solve crime. It's just like, right. What crimes? What steps that's a crime? And it's just like, where do you, like, if you're saying, if it helps, which there's a lot can help, now the question is, should we allow that to be done? Because the question is, you know? in, as a data expert, I could uh, safely say, I'm not a data scientist, but I'm a data expert, you can quickly go, oh, Tim goes down this road once a month. Tim goes down, like, Tim, not, not, there's a guy, like Tim, because mm-hmm. you go, oh, this guy, I see this guy. Oh, yeah, actually, I see him. I go over there as well. Okay, same guy, same chap. Okay, it takes him four minutes to get from there to there because yep. you have the data. Because if you if you're doing face ID, which means that you have realized and recognized that that person is that specific person, like because you're identifying a face, you're keeping tabs of that face. Yep. So when you you know six months later that face appears again, you're gonna be like, oh, it's a new person. It's like no, it's the same person. Mm-hmm. So to me, it makes me. Yeah, disgusts me. Yeah, the pri- pri- I'm a bit funny on the privacy thing. Like to me, it's I don't have this um, like instinctive, natural, like disgust about being spied on. Like to me, it's not like a big deal. But I just know historically what's happened, and I'm like, I'm not for any of this. So go fuck yourself. But I don't have that. They're watching me. Fuck you, you don't have any right. I hear a lot of people and I don't disagree. Hmm. But to me, naturally, it's like, you know, when some people are really strong on abortion, like I understand when some people are like, look, I'm against it, but it's not a big thing, big deal to me. Yeah. I just don't really care that much. That's kind of me with like privacy. Yeah. I'm like, the I know that- it's all bad. It's no good. Don't want them to do it. But to me, I'm like, this isn't the hill I would die on. No, it's, like, a, it's just principally gross. Yeah, and that's right. Like... And especially... And they can use it against you, right? They go, where were you at 4.55 uh, p.m.? You're like, when? Uh, what day? Two years ago. Two years ago. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. I think I was at work. Wrong. You're a liar. You're on You're on Rundle Mall. Yeah, you're in right. next to the mall's balls. And speaking of this kind of stuff... Fahrenheit. So, while we've been gone, I think last... I was reading that with yes, you, you, wasn't were. I? So, we finished that. For the audio listeners, the brave new, brave world. new world, shitty, um, I don't know, cover. Sad, I got the TV show version. Um, I'll get into that in a sec. I also finished this. Yes. Um, Ray Bradbury's Fahrenheit 451. And I'm currently going through uh, Georgia, George Orwell's 1984. Nice. So yes. um, quite fitting. Um, so I've heard always a lot of talk about 1984 versus Brave New World. I'm not far enough into 1984 enough. I'm just getting into it. Um, but yeah, it's much more authoritarian. It's like a truly like fascistic. Well, I don't even know. Um, I don't know if it is fascistic because everyone's calling each other comrade. So I don't know. Anyway, it doesn't matter. It's authoritarian big time. Um, yeah, it's so interesting. I, I really liked Fahrenheit 451. Yeah. Both Brave New World and Fahrenheit 451. The first third, first act, I suppose, was good. The second act, I was a bit like, oh, this is a bit of a drag. They'd and the third in, act was yeah. great, um, which I thought was really good. When I just thought now that's kind of like the comedians. How comedians do yeah, they open with their second best joke, finish with the best joke. Um, but yeah, I thought I really liked Fahrenheit 451. I thought... Like it was super simple and there was no like big like fucking overarching thing. It was just like one dude Mm -hmm. who was a firefighter and firefighting in that world is they burn books. 
So firefighters, they don't even know the history that firefighters like, sorry, they're not called firefighters, they're called firemen. Yep. And their job is to just create fires. So they've got the fire truck and that's got kerosene in it, not water. So they're not putting out fires, they're creating them. They so just burn they all burn, information. Yeah. Someone calls in and they go, this guy's got a book on our way and they fucking burn it. Burn somewhere. down the house or just that? Yeah, burn the house, burn the fucking books. And, if, and some people stay inside because they want to burn with it. Because book, like, they're cert, like, basically it's like 95% of books are outlawed. It's funny because like you think about it and it's like this, that's not far off where we're at now. Yeah. Like people would do that. Oh yeah. Yeah, this this the last couple of years have really proved like some people are like, you know, people go, how can the Nazis come to exist in the real world? That could never happen here. Yada, yada, yada. It's just like, people just, follow, this is the hard thing, right? Like everyone, like it's not even out of maliciousness and some would because they believe in the cause but it's just funny because it's like people just want to listen to an authority yeah. Because that's like they, they want to be safe. They want to feel safe. So if someone says, Oh, I'm I'm a, I've I've got a bloody little golden sticker on my chest that says I'm a good guy, mm-hmm. go go kill that go kill that 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 Jewish man over there. <laughs> like, well he, he, the guy with the guy the guy with the guy with the sticker says to do it and he, he said he's you know, he's he's gonna keep me safe. Mm-hmm. Uh, so you know that's that's what scares me um, is that like people just are on autopilot. I think that's the biggest thing. Is like I think historically people are just are on autopilot, and it's to do with um, I think a big thing is honestly just to do with the nature of people, right? So when you learn something new or ha- learn a novel thing, you're going to pay attention and pick up a lot of things. But when you're when you do something and you become like natural at it, or it becomes or like you know. It, things are on autopilot you tend to pay less attention to the new like to that detail because it's like everything's just um like i guess similar or you know it's too it's too easy or whatever so i think that's when you know people with life that it's gone autopilot with life um which allows them to basically be coerced into doing things that they would should otherwise not yeah if they sat down and someone said so why do you think about it? But they might go, oh, that's a bad thing. Actually, mm. I just never thought about it or whatever. Yeah, so they're pretty uh, nuts books. But I think um, Michael Malice's critique, because um, the way I'm seeing it is uh, 1984 is super government. Government is like the thing, mm-hmm. and that is the one doing the whole thing. Brave New World was like, there's government, but this is really like individually incentivized and we're all hedonistic and hey why don't you just you seem a bit upset just take these you know psychedelics or yeah. these karmas and that'll make you feel better why would you want to be sad and you know social conditioning conditioning mm-hmm. and fahrenheit 451 seems to be like a bit of a blend um but you don't get a big picture <clears throat> you just get like one dude who lives in a city um and you know his few experiences and i was just i appreciated that because it was super like this one guy, mm-hmm. whereas um, Brave New World followed kind of like three characters around, but mainly one. But I, yeah, the, the the ending for Brave New World was like, damn. Yeah. It was like, fuck, man. Like, long story short, which kind of gave me a bit of hope in a way. Mm-hmm. Basically, how Brave New World worked was there was ten areas of Earth, basically, and they're called world controllers. Yeah. So it's just one bloke or woman with the job of a world controller. Mm. Um, and they kind of dictate what's going on in their place. Long story short, when there's kind of, I don't know what they termed it as, but, you know, let's just say agitators, like people that were just slight, they kind of just slightly broke out of the social conditioning or they just were a bit too independent of a thinker, whatever it like, was. eat their crust gets too loudly or something? Yeah, some shit like that, yeah. Well, one guy was like a real, he was a Chad, legit Chad. They basically explained him like Giga Chad, like super tall, chiseled jaw, jacked, Women literally like falling over for him yeah. and being like, oh, would you? Because like they're all like hedonistic. No one's like monogamous. You're sleeping with anyone you want. Mm-hmm. Um, except homosexuality wasn't a big thing, but Brave New World was written fucking 90 years ago or whatever. Gays, they don't exist. Yeah, that's right. So, um, yeah, so this guy it's was. Brave like, New World, not Gay New World. Yeah, that's right. I'm, I'm not exploring a Brave New World of gays. Get that out of here. Anyway, so this guy was a writer and he just like. He was like a writer and he was also a professor kind of thing. And he felt like he wasn't the main character. He was one of the three main characters. But he felt like he there was something else. Like it was just at the edge of his mind and he just couldn't like grasp it. And he was friends with like the main character who 
liked him because he had a bit of an independent streak. And this the main character that we followed around, um, I'm blanking on his name, but he was like slightly, like because there was a caste system, there was like the alphas, the betas, the fucking something, the, the gammas, the the prions or whatever and there was another one anyway um they were alphas but he was because everyone's born from a test tube no mm. one's like naturally born they don't know what mums and dads are that they're dirty words yeah. he was like slightly disfigured like some the joke was the joke was like he had slight a bit of alcohol put in his test tube like those and insert the cast that it was because they had that done to them um, right so it's done like indeliberately like it was accidentally done to him or that was like the suspicion yeah, but, as to why but he was, with the other ones there yeah yeah oh yeah like the one of the earlier things was, That's and I cooked. think we talked about it was like to condition a certain cast, like I don't know, the second or worst one or whatever, the more labour intensive types. Um, they disincentivized babies. They conditioned them to not like books, mm. so they electrocuted the babies, the infants, when they touch books. Yeah, yeah. Fine. So anyway, um, but yeah, so it was, uh, it was, it's, it's a, bit, it's fucking trippy because it's just. Um, I could I could really feel the Fahrenheit 451 because, um, uh, oh God, I'm blanking on his fucking name. Montag it was his name. Um, he was one dude, and he met one other guy until the very end. Spoilers. Um, that was sympathetic because the kind of regime had been in for like. At this point, it seemed like fifty years. Mm. So there were still some people who were professors, yeah. university, but they had like been pushed out of the cities, kind of thing. Surprised and, they weren't just straight up executed. Well, some were, and some fled, and some just like was like, oh no, I didn't, you know, whatever. Anyway, so um, yeah, he was like one dude alone, and he was trying to figure out the truth, and he was like, "Am I going fucking crazy?" You know, like there was just an experience where like he was chasing a woman. To, to like get her out of the building so they could burn the books and blah 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 and she like kind of looked at him slightly like she understood that he was trying to be nice yeah and she was like just like kill me like in the like i want to go with my books kind of thing and you know that you know his boss did it and then like a page like hit him in the face like a page tore out of whatever book and like hit him in the face and he kind of looked at it for a second and whatever but he'd been a fireman for 10 years so it wasn't like a rookie that just started. Like it was just this thing that eventually yeah. like clicked and... Imagine dying for like a cookbook or something. Oh, dude. Yeah, like well, veg- yeah. Like there a, was things like that that vegan, were fine. Like and a vegan, vegan gluten-free bakery yeah. book. That's just, you know? I, I'm dying with these motherfucking... I'm dying with these fucking crusket recipes. Yeah. <laughs> so I liked it because it was like the whole society was like against this whole thing and it was like socially conditioned like it wasn't super to the point of brave new world where it's like all right this is how we condition the babies when you go from five to eleven you're going to sleep on these bunk beds and these bunk beds are going to subconsciously give you the messages and that's going to start conditioning Mm. you this was just like here's the laws 50 years later this is what most people believe and you can freely talk about it and whereas in brave new world if you talked about it people would be like what the fuck yeah is going on like you could talk and be like oh yeah you know he's allowed to bring a book home, bring one book home a year because he's a fireman, so he can understand why he's doing it. And the mums would go, "That's strange. Like, why would you do that?" Mm. But whatever. Let's let's you know. Anyway, so yeah, it was fucking. It's just weird to think. Um, no, we're not far from it. Like, it'd be very easy to get like what you get one charming guy that comes in. Um, it'd be very easy to convince the population to start doing shit. Yeah. Yeah. Because yeah. I, I still haven't watched, what's that movie, um, with the guy Fawkes Mast? Uh, v for Vendetta. That's the one, yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah, Apparently I was... Apparently that's pretty much bang on kind of thing. Like that's pretty much COVID. Fascistic. Literally, that was like COVID. Oh, was it? Was it from like memory, a, yeah. Okay. It's like lockdowns. And then some people who, like, it was weird. I never, no, I needed to watch it again, but I was like 12 when I saw it. Um, but it's like lockdown laws and stuff like that. And there was like when things, when there's riots or whatever, there'll be extra lockdown laws. But it was weird because it it was like the same as the world. But the odd thing was like some people who had authority was able to do whatever they want, but that's who was getting killed and all that stuff. So uh-huh. it was weird to see like, it was like there's lockdown laws. And I was like, what's going on? Isn't this just London? 
but like the, the well, things didn't apply to rich people gotcha. or to celebrities or the like you know an anchor of a television show. Okay. So I'm like weird, but mm. watch it. Definitely watch it. Yeah, yeah. It's all. It's def- definitely on the fucking list. Yeah. Um, yeah. It's fucking just a weird world, man. Um, Speaking of weird world, sure. man. Are you going to go on? Don't know. Go on. Abortions. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, the Roe v. Wade. I'm going to first off say... This is old news now. Yeah. Apologies. You guys I, are probably sick I of it. I want to straight up just... We probably shouldn't spend too much time no, on No, no, I don't want to spend much time. I just want to preface and say, personally, not my choice. I don't care. I don't have kids. I don't think I have a risk of having kids accidentally right now. Um, I think that I haven't disc- defined personally because I don't think... Because you're going to say, oh, medically, a, a life starts at 12 weeks, but some other medical practitioners and scientists will say at conception... Um, retards will say it starts at from the sperm. Um, <laughs> I don't have that, so but typically, like, I want to kind of sit with principles and I don't know when a life starts, but from whenever it starts, I don't. That's when I kind of it, it kind of flits my stomach saying that's when like abortions become murder. Um, because it is that's what it is like once it becomes a life, it's a murder, whether it's like a homicide or euthanasia or whatever, it's still murder. Prior to that, it's not, but it depends on who's, who you're asking personally. It's like when that's life or not. Um, but I think, you know. So what's your take? Sorry, what's your Pretty take much on? like my personal take is, you know, four weeks, you you know you're pregnant. If you can take, you can take a morning after pill or whatever, four weeks later, and then you, you have a miscarriage and it's like that, you know, after whether it's an accident, sure, especially if it's like a rape thing, whatever, um, then go for it or if it's like a medical requirement um and i think that like abortions could be if it's medical like life-threatening to the mum or to the child it's like this kid hasn't was born without a lung like or you know two lungs whatever not my choice not what i'd do but you know i'm not going to stop someone from having to have like having or even for the kid to say yeah let's give her the opportunity i'm not close enough i don't care mm-hmm. um so yeah, personally, I have a preference, but I don't care enough about the topic to go this, that, or or whatever. But what I do want to say is that it's pretty crazy how people reacted, especially in Australia. Um, they were, you know, scared that the, the Roe v. Wade law, which had nothing to do with abortion necessarily, um, it was just medical privacy, medical privacy, and just maintaining that constitutional right, and um, which they were worried that you know Australia because. Because states were ready to, you know, ban abortions, but other states were not. Um, they were, you know, it's a whole dumb argument around like, oh, it's not fair, blah 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 blah. I'm like, yeah, that's life. Like, if the laws changes, that's how it happens. Do you, you mean what about the the buyback law? What about when all the guns were taken away from a ho- you know, millions of dollars of guns taken away from people because one one thing, one 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 like event, mm-hmm. you know? Yeah. And most people go, oh, tough luck. Mm-hmm. It's like, yeah, well, that's what we're just trying to apply to you. Because, yeah. yeah, life's going to suck. But I, 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 so basically my point is I personally have like a preference. That I, well, I don't, I think it's murder if it's like 40 weeks and it's just, an, uh, no one does that. But you know what I mean? Like if a kid's born with Down, it's going to be born with Down syndrome and it's 40 weeks along, you, you, you are choosing to murder that baby. Mm. I mean, and the, it's not like it's an easy choice. Not, like everyone goes, oh, but it's not an easy choice. I'm like, I'm not saying that. I have, luckily I haven't had to go through that event but you know when you're going all right 40 weeks along this kid can live out the womb and everyone keeps saying about oh if a baby doesn't live out the womb then it's not a life which is a stupid take I'm like the kid can't live by itself uh you know it, six months later fucking eight years it will die mm. so yeah, yeah I think um the big take I have is um how the media has been like the Australian media making like, it as if it's a problem for us but but I don't even think in terms of how it will impact the Australian people I just mean how all media I have seen talk about it corporate wise corporate media has just been they passed a law and that law is doing this thing yep no one explained what the Supreme Court does mm-hmm. like they just went we've ruled that this doesn't align with the constitution and this isn't constitutional Mm -hmm. this is not for the federal government to deal with because the federal government literally one abcd this doesn't fall under abcd not our problem this is up to the states and and then and they have not described that and they just keep going like 
look at what the Americans and have all done. they're saying is, oh, states were ready, states were ready to abort. It's like, yeah, I mean, it wasn't right. constitutional necessarily, but it's like a lot of states had that that banned already. Yes. So it's like, yeah, and it's just Triple J, man. Triple J. Current affair, I saw all current of it, man. And I was like, but it's like, why is it our problem? Like, it's like, oh, but you know, the world's making women like making women become second class citizens. It's like it's not an anti woman thing. <laughs> And I just don't get this, like, anti-woman. Like, they're, 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 I really wish there was a good sexist. Yeah. Like, so when someone goes, like, they're coming after the women, I'd be like, like, like I don't want to say good, as, but I want to be like, that guy is. You're yeah, right. Yeah, he's particularly And then I'm right there with you. Bob Kerr or something. It's just, not, like, it's just like... It's not anti-woman. And that's just not the it's federal not, government yeah, of America. It's not anti-woman. It's literally just not allowing the government... Oh, this is just a, it's policy like privacy on individuals like federally mm. um, and Megs and I spoke about it or was it you and I we were like is that why there's no such thing as a federal uh, healthcare system because the federal government can't it shouldn't be uh, like your privacy <clears throat> federal government can't know about yeah well now there's obviously ways you can circumvent you know insurance system for the from the federal government so the federal government like Medicare for example I don't know how Medicare particularly works but if that's just an insurance body um then they could still maintain privacy um yeah well i think it's something like 90 percent of what the federal government does in america is illegal anyway mm. it's just it hasn't been uh it's just been either approved by a supreme court that just went yeah this fits within the, com- the constitution because it says general welfare yep. or it says you know this fits under the uh, the interstate commerce clause. So there's those two clauses that everything's basically mm. been interpreted yeah. to be like, yeah, Good education, enough. sure, welfare, yeah, general population, mm. healthcare for people that kind of yeah, just put it under general yeah. welfare like that. They just keep I going just, like here. Yeah. I just think I hate how everyone's like saying it's a step back. It's a, like America's step back. Blah blah blah. I'm like, it is from their perspective though. No, but it's like I don't disagree with their perspective, but it's just like with like them saying it's a step back in their perspective. But it's just weird because it's like the the reversal of the thing had nothing to do with the medical procedure. It was the fact that medical privacy it needs to be maintained. Now, but that's not what it represented to anyone, and it's only people who have been like, oh, it's medical privacy that give a shit. Everyone yeah, has I know. been told. But look, look, Roe v. California, Wade California, and New York. Abortions are still double thumbs up. So, yeah. I mean, bit, New York is to the extent that after I think 14 days after birth, post birth abortions. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's been since like 2019. And there have been children, at least as far as I knew, and this is like 2020, there have been three that have been killed after birth. So they hold them for 14 days. And then if the mum goes, nah, see you later. So, you know, three. I'm not saying that's what... Um, Tim, the, m- mum's choice, though. Yeah. My body, my choice. Yeah, my body, my choice, of course. And it's now it's, you know, it was my body, still my choice. <laughs> but I'm not... Maybe like, that's why the foreskin removal is, because within 14 days, mum's mum's body, mum's choice. Yeah, I don't so know. So, baby, baby foreskin, chop off? Yeah. Well, the, yeah. It's, I love, I love... It's funny it's 14 days, because I think... 14 days in America as Isn't well. Isn't that how long you can have like a video easy, like movie, like DVD for? <laughs> like two weeks? <laughs> yeah, maybe it is. Yeah, um, it is but, two, like two but, weeks. Two weeks. But I remember federally for like, um, what's their what's their TGA called? The um, FDA. The FDA. The Thera- Therapeutic Goods Administration in Australia. The Food and Drug Administration, Administration in America. Um from you know pregnancy from like conception to 14 days that development of a baby or a fetus whatever you want to call it um that's recognized as a human life from conception from conception to 14 days because they go this is how we get fetal uh, stem cells or whatever so that's recognized as a human but after the 14 days no longer human and then you can do what you want so that's just strictly in like so they're just saying for experiments you cannot do experiments on, you know, women or if you want to do this is a different category kind of thing. Something along those lines. But I always just thought it was funny. It's just like, oh, from like conception to 14 days. It's like, no, sorry, that's kind of, no thanks. But then it's like, oh, but you can, you know. So, so it's you just can, inconsistent. You can, so you can abort or you can harvest after 14 days. 
Yeah, I think so. But like you can, like some, I don't know what states. That How's that work? So what happens if they're like 20 days old? They go, oh, it's no longer a human, depending on the state that you're in. But to who? What do you mean? Oh, to like the FDA. So it's for like a drug we trials. Mean, we mean like no longer human. Well, they just go, well, 0 to 14, that's considered human. Um, we kind of need that to be Where is, Or is it out of out of their like, infam- they don't care beyond that? If it's older than 14 days. I think, I don't know, I don't know. I don't know the specifics, but it's something like that where it's like, um, yeah, trials can be trials can't be done from that time, and then after they've it's fine. Like, oh, like it's old, not like older, it's fine. Go older nuts than fourteen. On pre- yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. So, but it's not. I, it's not as simple as like, yeah, they're fifteen. Who you can do what the fuck would you want. personally, unless it's like, okay, we're gonna this kid's got a cleft palate. We're gonna like give him some Vita gummies, and it's gonna like fuse his palate together. Like who be, cool. who would go? Yeah, my baby's gonna do some trials. Yeah, I'm I mean, like, if you get baby's got a cleft palate, you no, I'm saying like if it's like if it's like you know something where it's like oh, some weird shit. This the baby's born with like something like six fingers or something like that, or I don't know. But it's That's like not a bad one. No, but it's like then you can go nuts, go go wild with like testing that issue. But it's like if it's a healthy baby, why would you test it? Yeah. Like oh, I'm gonna test aspirin on babies. Like really no, leave my fucking money. baby alone. Yeah. Um. You know, so I don't yeah. know. It's it's weird. I I'm not. I don't know. The thing the thing is, I don't want to like. Literally, my issue is there's mm. a couple of principles. Non aggression. You mean you're killing a baby. The other thing is, I don't like the government telling people what to do, which yep. is where I'm in a sticky situation because it's like if, if you tell if you outlaw abortions, then the government's telling you what to do. But why well, are you against murder being hey? outlawed? Are you for murder being outlawed? Our Lord, full stop. Yeah. No, no, no. Okay. Like, what circumstances would murder be okay? Well, you've. I'm not saying killing, like self-defense. I'm saying murder. Or like, if you, if you, if I electric chair you for doing a crime, that's murder, isn't it? I don't know. Like, as in, it's not cold. It's not cold-blooded. It's not cold-blooded murder. But if yeah, if you've been found guilty of like shoplifting, and the crime is death. You mean the penalty is death? Yes. Well, that's not murder. Why not? Well, you know, by the government's law, I mean. I'm saying like... I'm trying to think of like, strip back all the laws and just be like, okay, what are the principles? Um, yeah. Look, I think I think if I don't know when it's classified as a life and I'm still on, on pursuit of trying to figure that out, but until then it's like some arbitrary number is murder. Underneath that is not murder. Um, in my eyes, I have a preference of not doing it. Full stop. But like, I, I can't make it. And I, this is all. It's literally what it is. Is an ideology talk. It's all ideologies. People are going. You know, under all circumstances, m- women should be able to choose whatever. It's like, okay, but like, but this is not every circumstance. And they then they go, okay, what about rape victims? What about people who make mistakes? What about you know, you know, this that whatever? What about you know, it's like, yeah, but we're not talking. We're not talking about this. We're talking about like literally like, oopsie, had a kid. 99.5% of the abortions are just used basically as an alternative contraception. Yeah. So yeah. Point five and, and they go, are and, rapes, and, 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 then, and then people go, oh, well, we don't want to punish. Well, why are we trying to punish women from, you know, having sex? It's like, we're not, it's not a punishment. It's just like re reestablishing your risks. That's all it's going to do, right? It's like, understand your risks. And if you understand your risks, you'll mitigate those risks. I don't I don't see the problem. Like, and then there's like a suggestion of going, oh, well, men should be equally responsible for this stuff. And, you know, and <laughs> that's when you start like... When, it's like, when okay, you, cool. Yeah, well, yeah. It's it's just like, yeah. It's it's like you just, you've just walked straight into the conservative, like, finally, we're here. Like, men should be held responsible. Like, you're here and the conservatives being like, yeah. Yeah. They should be. Yeah, literally. And you're like, you've walked into Because if they can, they will. Yeah. So. Um, you know, it's been spicy. Yeah. Um, I think the media coverage of it was just fucking ridiculous. I'm like, like people are just like, like I literally got messaged saying, what do you think of the new law that passed in America? 
And I'm like, well, that's not what happened. I'm like, what happened is they just found it wasn't a law. Yeah. So it's just not the feds doing it. And I'm like, the states already have their own laws kind of thing. Yeah, yeah. So I think it. formally what it was protecting was like one and a half trimester abortions you couldn't go under without contesting it to the Supreme Court kind of thing under mm-hmm. Roe v. Wade. Mm-hmm. And I think after that was like up to the states, basically. Yep. And this is basically just gone, not our problem. Yeah, This has never been our problem. So for the last 50 years, whoops. Fucking whoopsie-daisy. Scratch that from the record. Yeah, right. So, And I'm glad they do that. Like, It's a good thing that they've done that just for the proof of like there are things that are good that are being removed um, out of principle. When I say good in terms mm. of like be like well, people like you know because some states are now like under no circumstances can be abortion some are more pragmatic and going you know under medical things will kill the mother i'm like yeah good mm. if it's going to kill the mother then fuck that kid i'd rather have my wife than some child that's gonna kill her yeah heavy fucking heavy opinion a lot of mums go like please choose the kidly wink over me um that's their choice that was jules with me um and I think Charles. Fuck you, Tim. Yeah. I, and I almost got her. I almost I played choose, that deal. I choose Chelsea over you, mate. <laughs> you're no, you Jules over you. Um, you so, good with the abortion? I got a couple of random bits and bobs. I'm I'm good with that. Like, yeah, basically my my, my stance is abortion principally. Kind of gay. Not a big fan. Kind of gay. Don't need don't need it. Um, because there are many ways to circumvent abortions, especially out of if it's a convenience factor. I kind of hate the fact people get them for convenience. It's like, yeah. just take oh, a quick trip. Childbirth is no good. Childbirth is no good. It's like okay, um, fair enough. But you should assess your risk first. And if you if it's really that bad, you go through childbirth, whatever. And there's a whole thing about who's going to pay the mums to like, who's going to pay you know, the mums to go to have a baby and then give up, give it up. It's like, and that's when you go. Well, the conservative stuff on. The dad. Yeah, but I'm the saying... Like, but it's like... Finally. You know, it's like, who's going to pay for you to have that baby and then give it up? But it's like, well, it's not my fault that you had a baby and didn't have assess your risks properly. Right. Yeah, but, see, and the, the problem I see happening with... Claim, that's with giving it up. Claiming um, rape and incest are legitimate reasons to put the baby. Because mm-hmm. uh, I can hear that... Um, I can hear that opinion a lot more than, you know, just because just because it's a choice. Um, the problem with that is you're just going to have the amount of purported rapes skyrocket. Because why wouldn't you just go like, well, I know this is illegal, whereas if I say this and I can't prove it and I don't need to prove it, I've just been raped. Yeah, I've been raped. Thanks. Let's abort this thing because I don't want it. Mm. So it's not that big of a deal. Like, Unless you had to go, well, are you married? Okay. Do you have a partner? You can just lie about that. Um Let's just check against both your DNA just in case. Sorry, we have to do this, but that's the law. Well, if you're just boyfriend, girlfriend, and you're not married, then you're probably not going to have his fucking DNA on standby. This is like assuming the best case scenario, which is the government has everyone's DNA. They can check it against. They go, you're married. Let's get some of the DNA from the little baby, the little thingo in there, and let's check it. Oh, sorry, this is your husband's. Tough. Mm. What are your thoughts Sorry, on like? What are like your it. thoughts on like accidental murder? Like one, two, like you know, get off scot free. But if you go again, round two to the the plunger. What do you mean? As like, in like you get abortion, one free abortion pass, like an oopsie, and then the second one comes around. <laughs> what do I think of that? And it's like, nah, bud, you get your punch cards done. Uh, no, 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 no that, pass go. That would, that would probably be better for from a pro-lifer's point of view than what we have now. I'd rather that than what we have now. Like medical, well, yeah, rape, incest, now, sure, uh, go for I, it. I think in South Australia, we're up to term th- uh, third trimester. We're going oh, first yuck. and second, you're good to go. Third, no no thanks. Good. So, like, at least at they, least at least they, they stopped third, that. Yeah, yeah. But yeah. I'm saying like, but you know, if you're just like, all right, you punch the card, like there's like a, a clear cut, like after a certain thing, no. But it's like you punch a card and then it's like, well, bud. That's it. That's it. Try not to get raped. <laughs> no, no, if you get raped or have like, in, you know, incest, whatever. Like you know, if, it's, if it's rape or if it's um, like medical reasons, sure. Well, that's my point. But. Is that would just be like, oh, I've already punched my card. I've uh, legitimately been raped. 
or I just had sex with my boyfriend again and forgot the pill, or you know, blah blah blah. It didn't work, or it wasn't so effective. you can give up the kid now if you want to want it, right? But a lot of them. I just understand, like, how, they, how many abortions go, happen a year? That's a real question. I don't know. It was. It's like fucking. I think I saw heard something. It was. It was like fucking something crazy, like forty million, like black babies since like the seventies. Something like fucking forty insane. million. Something well, insane. George's like, fucked is like the federal government like incentivized. Yeah. Like well, black we, people to abort their kids. Oh, to abort them? Yeah. How so? Uh, I watched a documentary and it's kind of the, the good grace theory, but it was a, um, basically like incentivizing and telling black women that like they haven't got a father around, which go, goes into the whole thing of like the federal government basically locking up black people because they need slavery um, to pay for cheap labor, like for their goods because the American workforce couldn't keep up with cheaper workforces but if you have a federal a strong federal prison system you get to have cheap labor um so a lot of black people because they're the easy people to go for because you know histor- historically the people that stir the pot even though they did nothing wrong um so boys grew up without their dads so if mums had baby, this is sounding like a whole lot of shit. So no, far, so if if, right. if no w- women have, yeah, it just went for the blacks because historically, it's like, no, no, but it's like you I'm know. not saying you're saying this, but if this is the documentary, no, I'm but like, no, it's just no, there's but a lot of no, fucking. I'm I'm butchering it. this, but it's like you know the whole thing about like r- like redlining like zones for black American like families, yeah, all that shit. But it's like, um, there was you know it's like the whole thing of women, well, it's like you know you don't want to have a kid without a father. And the father's not around because he's in prison or he's just a shit dirtbag. Black women, go get rid of, you know, no one will support you. So go get rid of that, that thing. That little, that little chico. <laughs> no, what are they called now? Cheekies? Get rid of that little cheeky. <laughs> get rid of the cheeky. Yeah, right. Because I've heard the opposite, what? which is that, you know, single mothers are incentivized to have the children because they get more payments. The more children, and if you're single, you're... Yeah, there is that, but it's also, like, the payments from the father. But it's, like, the there was that, like, push to, like, basically stop... Well, it's a, it's a good strategy on the American, uh, health, the American health system. They're going... Less people who can't... Less people... We want less people who can't afford health care... <laughs> Because it's learned cheaper healthcare, right? I guess. I think of Elizabeth, right? You have 10 people who procreate in Elizabeth. Would you rather 10 of them or zero of them? As strictly like speaking about a bottom yeah, but line. that's too small. Like big picture, it's worth having kids. Because if you've still got fucking retirement, who's paying for it? Because well, you can't have they'd... there's 300 retiring people but they don't and there's have... 300 people entering the workforce. That's not how it works. No, but they don't have. I'm saying like yeah, you, have you have want have more you want people. more people in the workforce, right. sure. But it's like, but the people who are paying people who are going to retire that aren't having kids don't get retirement. They get beans. Because this is America, mind right. you. Who are having kids? Well, the, the black spot, I mean, the black people who they're not going to get retirement money, so. Because they didn't earn all that much in the first place. No, I, I don't know how they're. they're I, I don't know there. I don't yeah, know how they're, they're. Everywhere but Australia, basically, is you get government. Yeah, really? Oh, yeah. We're like the one country that's like, yeah, we've kind of got a plan. Yeah, right. Which isn't even clocked on and politically, good luck. What we mean clocked on? Like, our superannuation hasn't activated yet. No one's retired on superannuation alone. We're still getting the dole. Yeah, dole. right. We so, ours isn't clocked on because it's only got started in like eight, late cooked. 80s. So, like, mm. you know, you got to think it's probably going to get activated in like 10, 15 years. Yeah, before we do it. Yeah, because we've had our whole workforce, like our whole work life, work career, whatever you want to fucking call it, um, since superannuation's been around. So basically, I think it's like, I would guess somewhere like 10 years before it was enacted. So if you were born in like 79, then you're going to have to hope you've got enough superannuation. Do us bananas. Um, it won't work. Yeah. It won't work. But they're, they're inflation, talking about... Inflation will beat them and they've lost that fight or they're about to lose the fight and then the, let's just say, $1.2 million you've got in superannuation, mm-hmm. let's just say, you, you got there. You got $1.2 million in superannuation by the time you retire. That should last you, blah, blah, blah. That's, you know... No, and you're going to get taxed on the way out because then the taxes will... They'll, right. they'll, they'll tax you on the way out again. Yes, of so course. Do you, know, do you know how it's 15 in, 15 out? 
Is it 15 out as well? Yeah. Uh-huh. Uh, it's 15 one way. Yes. No, it's like 11.1 or whatever. Which I think it was, it was 15. Okay. Was it th- 15 in, 30 in? I can't remember. It's the way you can set it up, but... They're gonna, I guarantee they're gonna like set it up so it's like you will get taxed on as you pull it out, or you'll get given, you'll be the government will fee you, um, as you pull for out yeah. for withdrawing it or for not withdrawing enough yeah. or whatever, yeah, of course. Um, and then which is ridiculous, mind you. Imagine like thinking you have a free life and they're like, nah, hold up, Buster, yeah, you've reached this age. We know that there's like, you know, if you wanted to invest some of that, we know that there's, you know. We've got the GST, so that's everything. Don't worry about that. Then we're going to have capital gains. We know you've worked, so you paid your income tax, you paid your corporate tax, you paid ridiculous. your payroll tax. Hey, you have to pay, if I give you 50 bucks, you have to pay a tax on that. Yeah, good luck. Even though I pay tax on the 50 bucks that I earn. Yep. If I give you $50, $50 you have to pay tax on that. Yeah, good luck getting me money. It's guy. ridiculous. Yeah. Um, and then they're, t- and they're talking about, I mean, we haven't got a state tax, but the Triple J is talking about how, you know, our generation should pay a state tax on the boomers and the Gen Xs who have you know, got all the money because of 30 years of, you know, like low productivity. Yeah, we legally can't enforce that. That's why we don't have them. No, nope, Our states and territories can't make them because there's federal laws restricting the states. But the federal laws could... They you know, could get rid of that, sure. It's yeah. not a constitutional thing. Yeah. Because um, as far as I'm aware, to, but the to, feds have To pay your state tax is ridiculous. Yeah. I mean, that would be me. If you went like, oh, you've got a 5% state in- income tax, I'd be like... Oh fucking! I'm out of here, dude. Mm. I'd be like, I'm no fucking estate tax, estate. Oh, estate. Tax. So oh, right. I, I die. And I, I, you inherit from me. In America, you pay tax. I and here see. You don't. Yes. Well, England's got that. It's ridiculous because they're talking about because it's low productivity. The last thirty years, um, we should pay estate tax. Gotcha. Which is like. It's not our yeah, fault. Yeah, same thing. It's not well, I'd our. I'd be on a one-way trip. I'm fucking out of here. Like, but it's not our fault that productivity has been low because you're trying to ba- balance like the the in, you know the the productivity of like the women workforce coming in for the last you know whatever prior to those thirty years, mm-hmm. the workforce coming through. So of course you're going to see a huge peak in productivity in workforce in terms of work labor costs and all that stuff is because if your workforce doubles overnight. Or in in twenty twenty months, you're gonna see a huge peak in like productivity, and as workforce and that generations like you know that workforce is increasing because your your women are coming out and working more and being incentivized to work more and stuff. Like, of course, you're gonna see a huge spike in productivity, and it's gonna plateau because it's gonna even out, and then they're going, oh, this is a low productivity. We need yeah. to, we need to make up for it. Mm. It's like get fucked. Yeah, some fucking stinkers, man. Mm, big, big stinkers, man. Yeah, it'll be fun to see where the fuck we are. Yeah, hopefully I'm, we will be a young island. Yeah, that's fucking right, dude. I'm fucking hopefully on a boat or a fucking island and being like, go fuck yourself. I've already thought about it. Like, if I could buy an island, we could golf grid, like basically have create a service house and then basically your internet's Tesla. Like SpaceX because mm-hmm. it's satellite. Yep. Um, and what is it called? Starlink. Starlink, and then you basically have your. Well, all you need really is just like. If you had an island good, that was like five hundred acres. A good battery set up, and that's it. You're good. Now, food. I haven't thought about that one, but in terms just, of like, if you had five hundred acres, you'd just fucking ship a fuck ton of cattle. It'd be expensive, uh, and you're a farmer boy. Mm. I'd fucking love that, dude. Be like sweet. As long as I had my own like dock and boat, and there was I just wonder how you had. Seas. Yeah, I'd love to always. I always thought that like fantasize of the idea of like creating your own like country, and like you know managing GDP and stuff. Like, <laughs> there's uh, like at that point, I would not be fast. I'd be like, thank God I'm away from these. No, but just imagine like having you create your own country, and it's like mm-hmm. you have your own like goods and services and stuff, and like the town manages itself. You gotta look at the look up look up that thing I told you about. Um, the Hot River Principality. The Margaret River? Hot River. In WA? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah There's like 30 people there, though. Yeah, I don't know. I think it got up to like 72 or something like that. Yeah, you got to get like to 1,000, though. Yeah, well, then you're going to get Ruby Ridged or Waco'd. How, yeah? And you'll get fucking killed. I thought when you get 1,000? No, they were like fucking... I don't know the details behind them. I'm just talking shit. But um, that was like an American thing where people were like, leave us alone. We just want to be left alone mm. and live our life. And then, um, you know, some. I think I, 
if I remember right, Waco, there was apparently reports of child abuse. Police came. They said, fuck off. We don't want you here. Mm. They said, we've got to come on. And they said, fuck off. Long story short, I think, yeah, I don't know. Maybe I'm thinking 72 because that was from Waco. Mm. Uh, yeah, or, yeah, or Ruby Ridge. I can't remember. I'm muddling up. But um, one of them, long story short, there was 60, 70 odd people, women, children, men, burnt alive, dead because there was a call of children being abused. Isn't that, isn't that like funny? Let's save the kids so they burn them. Yeah. And those people got like awarded. It wasn't like, oh my God, this is a tragedy. Like, oh no, we just burnt women and children alive. Whoops. It was like, good job guys. You stopped these fucking criminals. You stopped these, uh, like, you stopped these, you stopped these sand crackers from uh, beating kids. Yeah. By burning the kids before they could beat them. Yeah, that's right. You stopped them. You stopped them. You, you got them. You, you stopped Easy them. Award. Yeah, no, it's worth so it's fucked. Yeah. So that happened. That that was like the thirtieth anniversary or something like that, like um, like a week ago. Or was it only in like nineteen ninety, Waco? Yeah, dude, wow. these were recent as fuck. I did not know that. Yeah, dude, these things are like like dude. I could look up. Yeah. Hang on. Hang on. While I was just do that, um, what you could do, what we could do is have like surveillance on our, on our like secured secured line of surveillance in our town, but it's like there's no beating here. Right. Here's the transparency thing. Um, fucking where is it? Here it is. Oh god! Sorry, ladies. So, how would you effectively do it, and where could you do it without being bothered? Would you have to go like Romania or something? Okay, ninety three was Waco. Wow. Uh, fifty one days. Don't know how many people attempted to <laughs> attempt to serve serve search and an arrest warrants. Um. Okay, bang! I'm not gonna bother reading the whole thing and then Ruby. That's so crazy. Ridge. How could you? Well, the thing is, like, maybe you just need a Twitch stream. But how can you like effectively go? Hey, look, nothing's going on in our town. Ruby Ridge ninety two. Wow. Um, but like, how can you effectively do you think like go? Hey, nothing's bad's happening in our town. Firearm um, charges. So they went to blah, blah, blah. Um, so Ruby Ridge, if I remember right, wasn't as many people. Mm-hmm. But uh, oh, how many fucking people died? Let me see. Sorry, ladies and gentlemen, for this scuffed. Oh, fucking control F. The thing is, if you wanted to plan something like this and then you're like, no, it's going to go down, you have to like think of like a, a way to maintain transparency. Um. I don't, I don't know how you'd do it, but it's like, hey, nothing's going on here. Nothing wrong's going on here. Maybe you're not allowed kids. Maybe no kids allowed. Yep. Anyway, so I don't fucking have the numbers here. This has been ridiculous. But, uh, yeah, anyway. Yeah. Um, is that what you need to do is have no kids allowed or something? Yeah. If I remember right, Ruby Ridge had a, like five odd people. And they confirmed one was a kid and they still fucking killed him. That's a thing. Like, you don't have kids. You can't use them as like a political shield. And a neighbor came. He was like, I'll help the boys out at Ruby Ridge. Or one of them. Mm. I can't remember. Like, you have... You, the thing is, though, you have like... You have kids. They can use them as political shields. But like... They you, don't care. They use them. They'll use them as an excuse to terrorize you. Right. They, they'll, they'll use them when they think it's beneficial. But when there's children and it's opposed to them... They'll burn them alive. Yeah. So they do I, not. I, really do, care. I, would, I would love the idea of just making, like, imagine doing a YouTube documentary of making your own country. Yeah, it'd be pretty cool. Well, what was it in, um, in like the eighties? There was like sixty kind of fucking. I don't know. Yeah, it was. Uh, yeah, in the eighties, there were like sixty countries in the world, mm-hmm. and now there's like hundred and fifty-two. Mm. It's not like we've gained any more land. No. So I don't know. Um, you know, things break up. Maybe we just need to like take over a quarry and build a little town there. You know? Fly a flag. Yeah. I'm sure there's some like Aboriginals who have done that. Maybe we could use them as political like. <laughs> I don't shields. think it would matter. No, nah. it'd be the same thing. It'd be just with like kids. It'd be like, oh, we've got babies here. Bad luck, bud. We've got the Ghana people. Oh, yeah. Good. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and Torres Strait Islanders. They're like, thanks. Even better. Even better. <laughs> we'll get That's you right. all now. 
Um, yeah, so that's fucking fun. Hey, uh, uh, I pay okay, so quickly. We're about to get into news. Is that right? Yeah, go for it. Um, but before we do, um, what the fuck was that? Oh, it's a different alarm. Um, Peaky Blinders has come out. I haven't seen it yet. Okay. Is it good? It's quite good. Damn. It's really well shot and you can tell the production value has gone up a lot. Yeah. But some of the the oomph... Missing? Yeah, it's just like there's not as much gravitas. The thing um, is, it's going to the uh, the, fash, the fash though. Yeah, so um, they really try hard to not say Hitler. Yeah. Like they go, you know... Um, that guy, um, mm-hmm. he gets married and you never see it, but he goes, oh, I'm going to Germany and oh, the cha- the Chancellor himself is going to be my best man kind of thing. And it's mm-hmm. sort of, right, we know what the fuck. Like, I don't know. Um, they didn't say his name once, but like they always mentioned, oh, the guy in Germany or the Chancellor or the sentiments, you know, whatever. Anyway. I guess because he didn't actually matter at the time. Like until he did, until he became notorious. <laughs> Notorious Bill G, like. But you'd think in these in these circles, when they're swimming in the same circles, he's like the big fish, in that place. Like he's in the government, you know. Yeah, but you might might you be, the, be like the guy. But you might be, no. You're probably just not supposed to say, like the queen, right? You don't be like, oh, uh, Elizabeth Windsor. Yeah, I don't. You'd be know. Like, the, I don't know. The I think it's probably just the, like a rights thing. But yeah, Tommy, because you know how he was a socialist in Parliament. Mm-hmm. And old mate was a fascist. A flash, yeah. So he, ba- you know, someone did a good scene. This is spoilers, you know. But he basically explained it. He did the old, you know, how the, the political compass test, and you know how people mm. go like, "Oh, the horseshoe theory is gay." Yeah. He basically did the horseshoe theory, and he went. But he said it's a circle, and he said like, here on the left is socialism, mm. and here on the right is fascism, and if you go around, they both meet up, mm. and he's like, and that's how we have national. Nationalism, national, social, nationalist socialism, so Nazism. Yep. And I'm like, oh, they didn't call it Nazism, but they just said national socialism or nationalist socialism. I can't mm. remember. Yeah. And then you go, like, ah, so that's how he's justified working with a fascist. Why is a socialist working with a fascist? So he just went, well, whatever. Anyway. Ah, uh, so this is not a YouTuber. This is a. No, no, this is Thomas Shelby yeah. in the show. He yeah. fucking like has a Does dusty a table shoe. and he just fucking draws it. Yeah, and right. Ah, like, oh, interesting. Good enough. Because mm. um, he's not a true believer yes. in the whole thing, but he's just like, oh. he's uh, making it, it money. Fruit. Yeah, um, good show. Yeah, watch it. I'm still keen. There's one more season. Mm. I think there's one more. Um, okay, uh, Stranger Things. I have seen the first part, okay. first act, not the second act. Came out today. Did it? Or yes. I thought it was out for a couple of weeks, and I was like, "Oh, not on the game." But yeah, so it just came out. I think it came out to like today. Nice. It came out on the first. So today or yesterday? Wow. Um. So I haven't watched it. Neither. Um, Have you watched the first act? Yeah, it was good. I thought it was quite good. Vecna. Little spoiler there, the twist on the Vecna it's thing. I kind of, I kind of expected it though, but I didn't see the kid because I actually that makes sense. But then the I didn't acknowledge the kid died because I was like, why mum get strangled? Sister gets strangled. Father doesn't know what happened. The kid, and then the kid like had a sore head. Oh right. Yeah. So I was like, Back sus. With the flashback. Yeah. Yeah, I was sussy about that. But then I realised that he died after. I'm like, okay, I'm an idiot. Yeah. See, I knew. Um, I watched the last episode mm-hmm. because I was at um, Taylor's house and her sisters were watching it. So I just kind of watched the last like forty minutes and it explained uh, him fighting eleven. Yeah, but when I watched, I didn't know it was a little boy. And blah, blah, blah. but as soon as I saw him, I was like, "He's a funny looking kid." Yeah. And I'm like, "They're shooting him quite weird." Like, yeah. Shooting. And then when I realized it was and the then house. At the dinner table, everyone freaked out, and he just sat forward. His head. he didn't turn around to the radio. I was like, "It's fucking him, dude." Mm. But like, when fine. I saw it was his house, I'm like, "Oh, it's the kid." Yeah. So you connected it there. Yeah. yeah. Gotcha. I was like, "It's the kid," but I didn't realize that. Yeah. Well, it wasn't. It wasn't the father clearly, but I was like, "Oh, it's his son," or like you know. Yeah. But. I hadn't realized that the kid was the same guy, but I, that guy seems sus as hell as well when I saw him. And I was like, I bet you, I bet you top dollar, he's one of the kids. He's one of them. And he's he he hid that number one tattoo pretty yeah. well, didn't yeah. he? No one found out. But no he, kids. He's like, knew. I can't leave. I've got a thing. I'm like, ah, oh, because you're dangerous. Yeah. And then when he got the thing taken out, I'm like, you done fucked up, eleven. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I knew. I, I was like. 
It's quite good. I thought it was quite good. Yeah. Um, music was great. I, I, I do Did feel the same way with Piggy Blinders where I'm like, it doesn't... It, I felt like the first season was like, this is something mm. new. It was kind of like, what was that show? 13 Reasons. Like, You mean like, Invincible? And Invincible, that's a good one as well. Or like, The Boys? The Boys, that season three has just come out yeah, in the last month. It. I haven't watched yep. it either. I got so much shit. The, the other thing... Um, we weren't in it. Thanks, Eric Kripke, for the invitation. Next season. Next season. Or else. Uh, <laughs> okay, I've been watching a show. I've got one other thing mm-hmm. besides Go for this. It. Go for it. Um, Alone. Great show, dude. What is that? Okay. Ready for this? So there's seven seasons. Yeah. Each season hasn't got anything to do with the others, basically. Mm-hmm. What it is, is there's ten people. Yeah. Fuck off in the wilderness. You are alone. Mm-hmm. You've got ten items to bring. Survive as long as you can. Winner makes $500,000. Yeah. So the first one se- each season's five hundred k. Yeah. So the first season was in Vancouver Island, the second season was in Vancouver Island. Um, yes, come in. Hello. What's up? This is all staying in. Hello. This is not being cut out. Someone is at the door for those listening. Hello What's there. Up? What's the ETA? Uh, the twenty. Harper. Yeah. Like Sounds good. He'd like a tea. Uh, I'll have a coffee. Yeah. Well. Yes, please. It'd be lovely. Thank you. No sugar. No sugar. Yeah. He said tea. I'm happy to have coffee. Some people have sugar in their tea. I'm happy to have coffee. Yeah, no, no, no. I just, just. I'm happy. You thought I said coffee. I'm happy. I'm happy. Well. I'm happy for kafifi. Kafefe. Kafefe. Yeah. Thanks, oh, Lovey. That's a reference she doesn't understand. That's okay. Um, so yeah, first season is um, Vancouver Island. Second season, Vancouver Island. Third season is was, this on Netflix? No, it's on SBS on demand, so it's free. Oh. You don't need to pay. There are ads. There's three ads. They can go anywhere from one second to nine seconds to yep. to like a minute fifty. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it can be fucking annoying, and you can't skip them. Yeah, you have to just mute the fucking TV. So it's not a big deal. Um, so fucking good, man. So. Yeah. First two, Vancouver Island, which is just off the coast of uh, Canada, Western Canada, so you mm-hmm. get the Pacific. Third, season three. So I'm up to season five now. Um, the third was in Patagonia, South America. Yeah. Super rural part there. Fourth was in, was duos. So two people, a team of two, which was sweet, um, in Vancouver Island again. But the twist was that was there was seven teams of two. Yeah. So there was 14 of them total. What they did is they had one person plonk down and the other person was a hiker and they said, you're going from where we drop you, you're going 272 degrees, you'll get there eventually. So go west, figure it out. You don't know how how far away, how many days it is. So what you've got to realise about Vancouver Island is I think it's something like it rains 275 days a year. Oh, Jesus. It's like the most rainfall place in the world like put it like this i think the last like native indians to live there was like they finished in like 1926 Mm. so they don't live there anymore they're like it's fucking stupid yeah we're out we're just gonna go over here Mm. so um yeah um pretty fucking crazy so the season i'm watching now is season five which is in siberia yeah and that is people who like failed previously or fan favorites. It's gonna, dude, that's gonna be get, get hard, and hopefully people don't like get frostbite and stuff. Yeah, in the in the couples one, I won't spoil it for anyone. Uh, people did get frostbite, but it wasn't bad. One guy got it on his toes, and he's like, "I'm not sure what these black spots are." Turns out it was frostbite. Like he, they soon finished after that, and he, yeah, they uh, the producers, the producers finished, producers finished him or no, no. The only time people have been pulled out was Patagonia. Yeah, when they starve too much. Yeah, right. So that's the thing. You just go till you can't, basically, or you tap. Well, out. how do they tap you out? Are, are the producers there? Yeah. So no, you're completely alone. You have to film everything yourself. That's a different alarm, don't go. Mm-hmm. Um, 
they do a medical check. They don't say, but I think it's kind of when weather permits and every like 10 days. Yeah. So, and I think towards the end, they start going, we'll come every five days kind of thing. Because yep. people really, you know, like people go in, like if I went in, you see it's night and day, the difference of people's face. Like yeah. it's starvation. Um, like the guy who won one of the seasons, I won't say, he came in a pretty big boy, mm. left pretty skinny boy. And he won purely because he came in big because the person who came second had to get tapped because yeah. they lost so much weight. I'm actively trying not to use pronouns here. Um, but yeah, so it yeah. was good. So season one was all guys. Season two, I think, was all guys. The boys. And then season three, I was rooting for... Season three was Patagonia. I wasn't really... That was the one season where I wasn't really rooting for... What if for. Dave and Goggins could do it? No way. No? No. Mental toughness will only get you so far. You literally, like, what makes me... It's such a good show, dude. I totally I want to watch it, man. I, a buddy of my, my brother told me about it like a year and a half ago. The first mm. season was like 2017 and they've already fucking made like eight. Mm. So they smack them out. But um, a buddy of mine from work told me about it like six months ago and I was like, yeah, I'll get to it. And I was like, I've heard of it. It sounds good. I'll get to it. I haven't texted him saying I've watched it, but yeah. Um, it is fucking cool. But I, the one thing that fucking pisses me off, because it's basically Americans, Canadians, mm. that's who are doing it. Um, what pisses me off is when someone goes, I'm not here to just survive. I'm here to thrive. Cut to them three weeks later starving to death. You're like, you're a fucking idiot. Like, I would be like, my goal is to survive as long as I can. I'm going to starve. I spend my I'm whole time fishing. Nature. Yeah, and that's pretty much it. So some people tap out because they're lonely and they're like, I just can't do it. And some people are like, I miss my family. Um, yeah, one one chick who I was rooting for in season two, maybe it was season two, she like acted like was cutting firewood and just cut her arm. And it wasn't horrible, but they just came in and they went, no, she cut her hand and she couldn't move her thumb. Yeah. And she, it wasn't horrible, but she couldn't move her thumb. And, you know, she called, you know, they've got a satellite phone. Um, and they go, yeah, come here, I cut myself. They come out and they're like, no, nah, fucking, you, you yoinked out. And once you get yoinked out, you're done. Yeah. So if you go, you can't just call them and be like, I'm a bit lonely. It doesn't work like that. You can't be like, oh, I'm wondering about this and that. So, yeah. My willy smells. Yeah. So uh, it's fucking cool, man. It's it's really cool. Um, it's, it's fucking good, like... I like you. You kind of watching it. You go, oh, this is how I think I would be. I think I would do okay loneliness wise. I would go, I would get lonely, and I'd have days where I'd be like, man, I'm really missing people. But I don't think I would tap because of that. Mm. I think I would. That would play on me a lot, and that might be the thing that pushes me over the edge after I'm like starving. I'm like, fuck it. I've got three days left in me, and I'm really lonely. I might just fucking tap out now, kind of thing. Yeah. But so the way it works is you don't know how, you're not all together you're five miles apart ten miles apart or whatever and you don't know how many people are in mm. so you could be on day 50 and all 10 people are still in and you don't know or there could be a 1v1 and you don't know the team does not tell you it's you and one other guy my guy so does some guy like go like three to days so the the longest I think of the show which I haven't watched the season was 91 days I think Patagonia was 87 I'd go hundo yeah, that'd be sweet, hey. Oh, Hello. God. The dog is in. If boys. you go, if you go for like a hundo. Hello, pal. Um, you know, you'd be rest assured you'd beat all those other losers. Well, that's how. Yeah. So season one was like fifty-seven. Yeah. Season two was like sixty-two. Hello. Don't show your face. I'll, I'll get, get him. I'll get. Yeah. Cheers. Why not? I'm looking after you, you mal. <laughs> uh, oh. Oh, you're, oh, you're Reagan is currently um, collecting the um, <laughs> coffee that my missus has made. Thanks, Shmay. Appreciate that. Just having a little look. Do you want to call the dog, please? Lovely. Yep. Get him out of here. Thanks. All right, cheers. Yeah, quick, close it. Thanks, fam. Thanks, Dale. Okay, because that dog has almost shredded my fucking headphones because it's on the floor. Yeah, anyway, great show. I'm going on a bit too much, sorry. No, it's awesome, man. It, it's fucking really cool. That's pub. Um, so in the duos, there was... Because that I thought... When I was watching season three and I was like, you know what would be fucking cool? Because me and Taylor were going on a walk and we were halfway through... Because me and her have basically been watching it all. I think I watched all of season two by myself. Um, 
Uh, really, she really likes it, which I'm chuffed with because there's a show I like called Meat Eater. Yeah. We've talked about on the show. She wasn't a big fan. She's like, oh, it's cool, but it's not my thing. Alone, she loves. And we were like, oh, you know, if we went blah, blah, blah. Um, anyway, so yeah. Um, I don't think we'd do that well. But You and her? No, nah, I don't think we'd do that well. I think me and Jed would do pretty well. Um, what about me and you? I think we'd do okay. I think we'd have to dust up on some fucking serious skills because it really yeah. is like pretty nut and like you got to think in Vancouver Island I didn't even explain this man um, the, I think it's the highest popular highest densely populated um, you know area of raccoons of pumas um, really yeah and then Patagonia was like pretty up there with like wildcat or bob wildcats or bobcats I can't remember there's pumas in, uh, Canada. in Canada yeah that makes sense. I didn't know so where it was. So it's a rainforest. From. There's a rainforest, man. So is it's it? super wet. So like... It's a rainforest? People, people, I was expecting it to be like a tundra. No, dude. It is fucking like a... For, like, so they all get dropped off on the coast because then they can fish. Yeah. So that is your best chance at food. That's what I do is just sit on the coast and fish. But So they, there's these things called gill nets. So it's basically... Um, just think of like a trip wire, but it, you like a pole. It's like probably like... Think about the size of my leg, right? Two of my legs. There's a pole there, and you've just got basically netting mm-hmm. in between, and you just plonk it down because the tide comes up and down like like three meters, so it's yep. pretty significant. So you can't just camp around the beach, and yep. yeah, you got to so think what's about the net. What's the gild net? It just catches fish. So when it goes high tide, the fish come up, and then they will just fucking swim up, and then they'll get caught in the. Oh, so that fish for them? Yeah, like the gill net will. Like it's not an active thing; it's a passive thing, and with one chick who I was rooting for a lot. Um, she literally was doing so well. So there's black bears, there's wolves, and there's pumas. In, in, yeah, I expected black bears, yeah. but I didn't think Which was... weren't a big deal. Um, there was one case where, you know, like there'd been a few. Um, you can walk with that, nice. Yeah. Um, there'd been a few where like... Um, why am I struggling? What is fucking... That was weird. That was, that was <laughs> right. um, there's been like, you know, like bears right outside the tent, fucking sniffing your tent. And they'll kill you. Mm. Those motherfuckers will kill so you. Do you give you a gun? Black bears are slight. No. You've got no nothing, part, no modern technology. So you can bring a recurve bow. You can't bring a compound bow and no guns. I'd bring a recurve bow. Yeah. So no one's killed anything in the seasons I've watched with a bow. And a few people have brought it. So you get 10 items. You know, sleeping bag, tarps, there's gill nets, knives. Do you get tent? Gym. No one used a tent. No one brought a tent? No. Nah. You know Everyone one? uses a tarp. Why? Because you oh, yeah, tarp, tarp, yeah. Yeah, like, yeah I'd use a tarp. Yeah. I'd use a sleeping bag. Someone brought a hammock, which was smart because he used that as a gill net as well. So he had two gill nets. So he used the hammock and he just slept on the fucking ground. Mm. And he just used it. And that was smart. He didn't win, but that was a good idea. Um I'd Some dude made a gill net. That was fucking crazy in season two. Did you bring wire and make? No, but if you find anything, because they're on the Pacific, you get heaps of rubbish. Yeah. Um, if you find anything, so you, you can't bring. Go. What about wire? Can you bring like? Yeah, you can. Um, could so you just bring br- like make a gill net of wire? You could, but you know the, you got to kind of think about like energy expenditure. Like, mm. is this worth like fifteen days of energy doing this? Some people make boats, which is pretty fucking crazy. Um, one dude in season two made a fucking great boat. It was cool as fuck. Yeah? Um, yeah. Yeah, it was pretty cool. Um, some some really creative shit, but I reckon with me, I'd be like, I don't think I'd do great. I think my goal would be like really pretty, I'd have like kind of like four goals. I'd be like, crack three days, crack a week, crack a month, and then I'd be like, Whatever happens, happens. Can I'd be, be like, if I made a month, I'd be chuffed. Can you be like a watch? Yeah. I think there's some like, there's like a photo of family memorial photos. <laughs> one dude, one dude was great. He uh, he was like, look, I, I like that because you, you could bring in one family photo if you wanted and that doesn't count towards the items. Yeah. He went, look, I like that idea, but if I did that, then I'd start thinking about them, then I'd start missing them. So what I did, and he had a meme, and it was basically like a fucking government sucks meme, and it was basically, here's the roads, and they're so shitly maintained, and I'm paying for it, and they've just fixed it, and this is how it is kind of... It was something along those lines, 
And he was just like, yeah, I brought that because it reminded me why I fucking hate society so much. <laughs> so I didn't want to go home. And I just like, it was so bizarre. It was like, great. He, it was like everyone. So that this was like season four. He was just like, yeah, I just wanted to remind myself I didn't want to go home. It sounds like you as well. Yeah, I'd do something like that. That was fucking hilarious. But yeah, the 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 um. Could you just bring like a, a sexy photo of a lady? Yeah, you could, but instead of a failing photo. Yeah, some. It's pretty interesting to really think about the different strategies people had. Like one guy was a big dude, and he was like, "I'm just gonna do nothing." He's like, "I'm just gonna sit around and fish, and that's it." He's like, "That's all I'm doing." And I'd, he I'd, lasted like fifty days. I just days. spend my whole time just trying to build a cool hut. And that, like a, that, like that, a, that's like what a, rock, a couple did. Like a bloody mud, mud hut. No, nah, you wouldn't do that. I know. Because you, you'd have to be dropped off in a good spot and that would take too long. Because you're not going to get fucking mud in some places. Like you're just going to be in fucking trees. One dude got fucked. I'm telling you, in season two, I think it was season two, he got so fucked. So you just, what they do is they don't just go... That looks like a good spot. We'll put you there. They like people scout it out and go, what are the pros and cons? And try and make it as even as you can. Mm. One dude for sure got fucked. Like he basically got dropped off on a beach where everyone does. Um, and he basically had like two really steep hills and there was like a kind of creek that red run down. So a creek, that's good. You got running water. So you've got a water supply. Good. Yeah, I didn't think No about food. It. So he had the ocean... But it was fucked. Like, he couldn't, like, access the ocean really unless it was really low tide, which is 15% of it. Why is that? Because he can't... Can he, can because he co- it was, like, super rocky. Mm. So you'd have to go out real far. And it's, like, fucking five degrees. So you'll freeze to death. So yeah. the tide isn't perfect either. It changes every, like, 11 hours. So throughout the time, you've kind of got to wake up at, like, 11 at night to go to low tide and get your fish kind of thing. Which isn't a big deal. Um, cause you're like, this is food and this is the one thing I need to do. So whatever. It's one thing I care about. Yeah. Yeah. So most people, it's basically strategy wise. It's like set up a temporary shelter and then basically either move or scout to find a permanent location. Yep. And then, you know, if you're going to make a big thing or a small thing, start moving in. And then it's basically like, you know, day one and day to day, like five is like shelter and water. That's it. Yep. So some people could bring in rations and that's an item mm-hmm. and that's basically like maybe it's not like a bad idea. Days. Um, but the thing you got to think is bears, if they smell it, which is what happened to one dude. He Even left with them. rations. Yeah, they'll smell that shit. Dude. They got really good smell. Or like one dude sealed, left day one because a bear rations. smelled his fucking, yeah. Sealed rations. Yeah, the dude like was going to go hang it in a tree so it would be different apart from him. But it came so quick, he left day one. Jesus. Yeah, so there were some, some guys like, and I like the show because... Some people went in and they weren't all about the money. Most people weren't. Mm. Like it was a lot of like our direct teachers, you know, homesteaders. There was one guy I really liked in Patagonia who's now back in season five called Brit. Yeah. He's a black dude, just a solid dude. And he's an accountant. He's like the most white collar guy. Everyone else was somewhat related. They're like, oh yeah, I'm a survival instructor or I was ex-military or blah, blah. He's an accountant. And he was just like so like... He's like pretty well spoken. He was just great, and I'm rooting for him. Like all the guys coming back in season five, I'm like, damn, I like that guy. I like that guy. I like yeah, that do guy. people like make like little clay pots and shit, little furnaces. Uh, no, because uh, some made a few kind of things like that. One was a good basket weaver. She was like, making I would do that. Baskets. I would spend my time yeah. weaving baskets and building a house. Because a like a them, primitive technology. One, because there was a few guys that you get, and I think you would especially be like this, and I'd have a bit of that twinge, where it's like I get bored if I'm doing nothing. I get bored mentally, and yeah. that's when I'm going to tap out because I'm going to be like, I'm going to now think of my family, yeah, and yeah. now I'm really missing them, and what's going on? What if there's a problem? Yada yada. yada. Um, one guy was like, I know this is about me. That's how I work. I've just got to keep myself busy. He legit built like such a great camp. He started building fucking games. He made dice. He made chess boards. Mm. It was insane. And he was like, I'm good. I really miss my wife. It was like day 25. He was like, I'm good. Because you, cause you'd clock on and you get efficient and you figure out how to like do stuff quickly and fuck good. Yeah. So, they- but the big thing is food. Yeah. Because after a while, because they get dropped off just before winter. Oh. So they get in like two weeks, three weeks before winter, both in everywhere we've been so far and same with Siberia. 
Um, so yeah, um, you kind of get, you've basically got, and it depends on the weather, but you know, and kind of the cycle, the seasonal cycle, but it's like, you kind of got so far, it's been like, you got three weeks before the weather hits. But season one was brutal. Season one was like, you had a week and a half and then it was fucking fro- freezing. Season one was like tough. See? And it was like the, probably like the most amateur guys. Mm. Cause like, I feel like it was kind of friends of friends. Like, oh, do you know anyone? Because with the, the but after season one, it was like thousands of people were like applying for it. Yeah, it's but, like bloody Master Chef. Remember, Master Chef came out, and the first challenge was like, "Tell me what ingredients are in the spaghetti bolognese." Yeah. And then, like now, episode and the one. The big one for that was at the end, the grand final. I think was make a crock and bush. I would never forget that. Yeah, it was. Like, I was either season one or season two. It was like Julie it was, with Julian or something like. That. But it's like but yeah. make this fucking yeah, Julie, yeah. yeah, and it's like she's back in the new season. But it's so so funny. Whereas like you know, now it's like all right, like even the kids' master chef. It's like wild recipes, yeah. you know. And the it's kids like, did pretty good. I and it's like episode one that. though, man. It's like they're not making a fucking spaghetti bolognese. Yeah. They're like. I remember watching a few episodes of Master of Kids and I was like, holy fuck, man, yeah, these guys man. are great. And they're like 8, 10, 11. Yeah, anyway, alone, right. really good. I'm going to watch it. Um, really fucking good, man. I, I, You kind of get hooked. Yeah. You kind of go, damn, I kind of just want to find out what happened. Because, you know, they'll just go like chronologically basically until the last episode where they go, here's a recap on the final two or the final three. Yeah. And here's their journey so far. And then you know, we delve into it. Um, but yeah, I, I, I really liked... Because a lot of people, I know I kind of I half finished this thought before, but um, I like that some people came in and they're like, "Oh, I'm 27. I live on this property, and I kind of want to buy my own property, like buy this property because I've been renting it." And the owner said, "Oh, yeah, if you give me enough money, kind of thing," or you know, "Oh, I just want to move out to the country or whatever." Yeah. And they come in for the money, but there's some of them that are like. I'm not here for the money. I'm here to just learn about myself and have time alone and be alone and blah, blah, blah. And not, a surprising amount of people really tap out for like spiritual reasons. Like there was one chick Taylor was really rooting for in Patagonia who was like a hippie chick. She was real cool. And she was like, she was a, she was a lass. She was cool ass. And um, she was like, yeah, I was really hanging on to the money, but it was holding me back from really embracing the kind of journey. And then she's like, after I let go of that, because she got bitten by poisonous spiders. Jesus. And she treated herself. Um, she was like, oh, I might have to go. But she's like, you can't unring the bell. So she's like, oh. And she was a bit of a herbalist. So there's some herbs around. She fucking applied it. And long story short, she was okay. Um, I think it will permanently scar, but she wasn't going to die. Um, that's good. So, yeah, that's good. But she was like, yeah, I was holding on to the money too tight. I let go of that. And then I really embraced it. And it was really good. And she was like... That was great. She was like, I'm glad I had that spider scare because that made me appreciate, you know. And there's just really cool different outlooks. And you get some people who are really young and that just, um, they're there for the money. And then there's some guys that like are young and they're like, yeah, they're there for the money for a good reason. Like there was like a 20-year-old who had a wife and kid. um, And he was like, yeah, I want to just like make my my wife's life a lot better kind of thing. And you're like, damn, like there's some really good, like read, like some yeah. like 50 year old dads who are like, I'm, I'm sick of being the poor dad. Like who says, you know, my kids ask, Oh, you know, can we get, and my immediate answer is no. Yeah. Like some really good, like reasons to come in. Um, yeah. It's a fucking great show. Anyway, I'll shut up about it. You get it the sounds fucking good, point. man. It's really good. Um, uh, but, um. Yes, SBS on demand. I don't know where that is internationally, but you can probably get that. Yeah. Internationally, anyway. Um, the only other thing I've got to say, and then we'll go news. Um, seventy-five day hard challenge. You're doing good, man. We're, guy. we're still going. I've got my paper here. I'm on. We're, today's day sixty-six. So we're almost there. Um, I'm going to ninety. Yeah. So yeah. Um, I'm. I'm not gonna lie. At the moment. The, like the last five days, I'm like, fuck, man, I'm real sick of this food. I just want to eat. Like, I just want to have what I want. And I'm not really craving anything, which is good. Yeah. But, um, and no one, I won't lie, no one during this whole thing has been like good about it food wise. Like, I told Taylor, I'm like, can you just, at least for the first bit, and until you tell you, just like not have that shit in my face. Yeah. So I don't want to like get tempted and eat it. How was I? I was all right. 
Yeah, you were okay, but like you didn't hide it, and that's not like what. Good. Like um, I don't know, whatever the fuck you're eating. Like if you were just having like spaghetti or whatever, I'd be like, damn. I don't remember nice. eating anything that nice when you were on the challenge. Anyway, like personally, I don't remember like that. And then the things I would sushi. Oh yeah, there was that. Sorry about that. And she like it's not a big but deal. But with me, I, I I we got some steaks. Got your steaks a couple yeah, times. The, the, the burgers, the smash burgers. Yeah, that that, that too. And then that that doesn't the, the help. The new you. owners are still dealing with that fat. I guarantee it. What? <laughs> the fat from the. How <laughs> yeah. fucking funny was Dude, that? Dude, but yeah, too. I I feel like I was like trying to be helpful, and I was like, look, let's make you enjoyable. Here, have some nice yeah, steaks. Yeah, you were good. You, know? you were great, man. Um, uh, yeah. Whereas everyone here. Like, especially today, like, for example, like, we had a family catch-up today. Um, lasagna was made. Oh. Scones, which I don't really care for. Um, yeah, there was just a big feat. Well, lasagna was last night. This morning was, like, heaps of shit. Dude, that'd be um, hard, man. Yeah, so, and I really like lasagna. Me and, too. And they did it well because all of us like two-day-old lasagna. Mm-hmm. So you cook it and you just put it in the fridge. It's better. I can't explain it. It's just better. Don't know why. It's just better than the day it's been ovened. Yeah. Um, but yeah, like Taylor, just like you know, if you see behind you, there's that. There's on that right next to the whiteboard next to your face, like two centimeters. There's yeah. popcorn right next to you. Yeah. So she'll eat whatever in front of me. I'm like, fuck. It's not a big deal, but um, yeah, I haven't been craving shit really. I'm just like, I kind of just want to have the freedom to just. Yeah. Go, I'll just have a muffin, or I'll have a. I'll have like half a packet of chips or I'll have a couple of Tim Tams. Like I'm not really craving stuff, which is good. Mm. The reading, fine. Um, the routine, I haven't really got into the routine. I won't explain to why since we've um, moved into different places. Yes. Um, um, I won't explain as to why the routine's been all over the shop. Long story short, it's me being a fucking pussy. Uh, but there's some legitimate reasons. I'm not going to go into why. We, I will go into why later on. Um but yeah, so water has been a fucking bitch and still the biggest problem. Yeah. Um, man, when you get to 11 o'clock at night and you've got to drink a whole one of these. Is that full? This is still full. And Wait. You... I've got to drink that tonight. Yeah. Dude, when... Why are you drinking, pal? I, I fucking... What happened that. this morning? I did, I've drank one. So that's the last one. Oh, yeah, that's yeah, right. Because yeah. there's two, lots of yeah, tea. So there's two. So... Um, when it gets like 11 o'clock at night, you've got half a bottle and fucking two litres. You're like, oh, fuck. And it really fucks your sleep up, really. And yeah. it's all on you. You, you. you fucked it up. You know, you should have drank more water throughout the day. But like, um, yeah, I don't know. For my suggestions, I've suggested this if this is your first time listening. Make sure you've got a diet. And set alarms. Yeah, set alarms are a good call. But make sure you've got a diet that makes you want to drink water. So mm. if you just do calorie deficit, that's fine. It doesn't matter. But I would say have like chocolate in there every now and then or whatever makes you really want water, have that in there and then just drink more than you usually would just so you put the effort in, which is like why I like my diet, paleo, because I eat a lot of fatty food. And yeah, when, you, boy. When, when you just down that water, it's super easy. Because I only eat twice a day, there's like a big window where I'm like, well, I'm not really that thirsty. But there's some days where eating those that's the patties, first thing man. I smack out. Eating those patties? What's that? We ate those patties. I had the beat sweats the whole night. Like, yeah. I, I, I was good. I was hallucinating during my dreams, man. I could not sleep. I was having like I was sweating my sleep. I know. It was meat sweats, man. Yeah. The Sweat- night long. <laughs> meat literally sweat. like a twelve hour meat sweats. Yeah. So we're doing good. Um, yeah. Weight wise, you under hundred? Um, no, I'm. Um, so I started one nineteen point nine. Yep. I'm one oh eight something. Nice. Do you want? Do you want to go under hundred? Yeah, I, I think I wrote it down somewhere. I wrote it, or maybe I filmed it for the, when I started filming it. Um, I wanted to get under 110. That was my minimum. Done. 100, under 100 was like the big goal. Yeah. Um, and I think I said um, I'd be pretty chuffed if I got under 108, I think I said. And I'm on track for that. Yeah. And that was just for 75. I decided I'm doing 90 in like day 20. So... Um, I think it's pretty possible that I get to... 105? To 105, yeah. If I really knock, like, if I was really strict with my diet, because I've got a bit of flexibility, which kept me going. Um, a flexibility of what, mints? Yeah, like I can eat yogurt. Um, can you? Yeah, because it's, you know, animal stuff, basically. Um, but that's right, but you didn't choose to have milk. 
Yeah, and I just choose not to have milk. Yeah, I don't have any milk because it's yeah. just not great for me. Um, I don't get the shits. I just feel my bones not great. Um, so, yeah, and I've had, yeah, like it's basically just been meat and fruit. Mm-hmm. Uh, but it's good. So if I really knuckle down, I, the, the weight comes off pretty consistently. Yep. So if I'm just having what I strictly, the staples of my stuff. Yeah, it comes off pretty quick, um, and which is what happened for the like just two weeks. The last from like three weeks to the last week, those two weeks there, I was like plateaued, mm-hmm. and it was because I was just kind of being a bit too loose, and I was like, "Fuck it." I was hanging out like a one eleven for so long, and I'm like, "Fuck this," and knuckled down, got to like one oh nine, and I'm like, "Cool." Yeah, yeah. Um, so yeah, gone good. Um, sorry, drinking the coffee. Um, so cracking on, reading's gone okay. I think technically you're supposed to read non-fiction books. I don't care. Um, whatever. Yeah. Like I read, you know, because my paper has ten pages. So. But there, it's kind of like, yes, it's non, it's yes, it's fiction, but it's like a, like a useful. Yeah. It's basically what I thought of when you know. I thought of... But it's like... You, you, you said, I was just going to say it's more of like a warning, you know? Yeah, I think it's good. And I've read Atomic Habits. So I've read a good amount of books. I've read um, three so far. And I'm, I'll get through the fourth. And this... And 1984 is surprisingly big. I didn't think it was that big. Yeah, it's huge. And that's small font as well. So it's yeah. shit um, for me. Oh. But yeah, reading... Yeah, so without a routine... It's not too much fun. Yep. Um, but it's basically it's basically exercise. It's basically exercise. Eat. Next exercise, read, mm-hmm. and that's it. Because the kind of active ones you're really doing is basically exercising, and reading. And if you just kind of fuck up reading, like I've had a couple nights where I'm like, fuck, man, I haven't read, and it's I'm going to bed. I'm like, fuck. You got to real like keep yourself awake. Um, but yeah, anyway, still going. We're doing good. Technically, I, I didn't count my day one because I didn't drink enough water. Yes. But I'm doing well. Anyway, whatever. You guys get it. We're going good. Day 67. Thanks for coming. Um, or 66, whatever Good one. job, my man. Cheers. Uh, news? Let's do the news. Let's do the news. Okay. Um, for those that are listening and whatever, we're going to switch over to the Milky News. So, so you'll hear us say... Enjoy. Yeah, the, yeah. Enjoy the intro. Enjoy the intro, yeah. And you'll hear us say, here's the trailer. You won't hear a trailer because you guys get the pure, yeah, the pure feed. All right. You, you ready, good? fellas? Hope you guys are ready. Brace your ears. Good. Brace your ears. Hello and welcome to Milky News, the number one badass Milky News news station in the world. Uh, the one and only. The one and only Milky News news station in the world. Yep. Uh, we've got some... Sp- Sports news, psych, no, it's games news, and it's a uh, TV and movie news. So, buckle up, Buster. Buckle up. Uh, before, Why are we in a different place? Bef- because uh, I've moved states, Tim's moved back home. So, we're in front of the fire. The fireplace, which is not a bedroom. Yes. I'll well, tell you what, though. Tell you what. I'm excited for Bullet Train. And I know, I saw another I'm so keen for it, man. Yeah. And, uh,. What was the other one that I was like frothing for? Black Adam? Nah. Northman. Know. That, yeah, I guess. No, nah, it's probably I'm just really excited for Bullet Train, man. Um, yeah, that looks good. I love yeah. Brad Pitt, man. He's a good fucking Brad Pitt is what a, what a, what a, what a champ. Um, yeah, get him on the show. Anyway, let's jump into the news. Uh, good news. Good news for the Milky News. There isn't too much news. So it's a quick one today. You guys mm-hmm. see, you've clicked on the video. You know how long it is. Um, we got three things. We got C, season three. We got Black Adam. Uh, and we've got Thor 4. So let's just crack on with C. Mm-hmm. It's a TV show. Uh, we got the season three official teaser trailer. So it's not the official trailer. It goes for a minute and eight seconds. We've still got Jason Momoa, so he's not died. Um, full transparency. I haven't watched a trailer. I haven't seen season two. You want to watch the show. You haven't watched it yep. yet. So, uh, enjoy the fucking the trailer. trailer. Enjoy the fucking trailer. Enjoy the motherfucking trailer. All right. Wow. Welcome back. I hope back. you enjoyed that trailer. I hope you enjoyed it. I didn't watch it. Because <laughs> we didn't fucking watch it. Uh, 
Hopefully good things are happening. <laughs> <laughs> it comes out uh, August 26th. Oh, just before my birthday. Nice. There you go. There you go. What's your birthday? 27. Okay. Yeah. I'm not going to remember that. No. It's a weird day. No. Yeah. I anyway. love you. Uh, okay, we got Black Adam. We got the official first trailer. This came out a few weeks ago, but we've been on hiatus. Mm, that's things right. have been we have been. We've been smelling. We've been gone away. We've been smelling the, the roses. This came out on June 8th. I've wrote down. Okay. Um, here's a motherfucking trailer. Enjoy. <clears throat> wow. Dwayne Johnson, you're looking pretty beefy, man. You're looking pretty beefy. Are you a good guy or a bad guy, man? I thought in your contract you were supposed to be a good guy. Well, that's right. Well, I here see, let he me... might be an anti anti hero. Yeah, we've got Doctor Fate who says you get to choose what you want to be, a destroyer or a savior. Was that uh, who was that? Fate. That Pierce was uh, Pierce Bronson. Yep. yep. And then there was another character. I don't know if we saw who said the line. Someone would know the voice actor, uh, the actor's voice. Um, said heroes don't kill people. My guy goes, well, I do. Yeah. So I think he's he's going to be a bit more anti hero. Mm. Than, My guy, uh, than villain, a bit nuanced, you know. Yeah, so we'll see what goes on. Um, mm, I'm keen for it. What do you yeah, think? Yeah, I'm I'm keen for it too. I think it's a. I hope it's not Dwayne Johnsony. That's all. I hope Dwayne Johnson's just a big bad. That's, and that's a good it. way to put it. You know what I mean? And I don't think it is. I don't think it looks like. I hope it's just like Dwayne Johnson. Like there's like there's like some other guy in the background. Dwayne Johnson just happens to be like in you know one in three shots. But like someone else is like the main protagonist or something. Oh, I see what you say. Well, I don't. Yeah, that's a good point. Well, you know what I mean? Like they're gonna fight someone. Yeah. There's too many heroes for them to just be like, "What's going on, man?" I'm just hoping that it's like there's heroes and then then Black Adam. Like you hear Black Adam's story and then that's it. Then like people run around and do their own thing and it's like what? Not, you know what I mean? Yeah. So I want. I also and I didn't look into this, but I do want to know how connected this is into the DCEU. I think it's just called the DCU technically by everyone just because of the DCU. Um, I want to see if this is with the Shazam yeah. um, movie and if it's got Superman and all that because um, when Dr. Faye says you can be a saviour or a destroyer, I go, this probably doesn't have Superman. Like, you know what I mean? Because there's yeah. already a saviour and then Superman could probably beat him. Well, that's the animated movie which was pretty fucking cool of... Um, I forget what the title. Uh, Superman was. fights Batman and like Stroll, so you know. But that was Kryptonite. And well, and Superman's weakness is magic, and Shazam and Black Adam have got magic. So is Superman's weakness magic? Yeah, and Kryptonite. What, the two things. What a weird stupid thing. What a weird weakness. Magic. Mm-hmm. It's just because he strength doesn't like you can't trump th- magic. I don't know. Well, Black Adam and um, Superman are like equal in strength. But uh, they've got like, you know, Superman's got laser eyes, Shazam and Black Adam don't have that. Because I've got the same powers, Shazam and Black Adam. Yeah. Because, you know, the general story, it's basically there was a wizard. um, He gave powers to Black Adam and Black Adam turned bad. Yep. And then he went, I'm going to freeze you um, and here's a new hero. Anyway, that was the back in the day. So they've changed this for the movie. Mm -hmm. He died. He was brought back. So that's why I'm kind of wondering yeah. what the go is. So we'll see. Um, looks good. Comes out. Has Shazam come out yet? Yeah, yeah. Came oh. out like 2018. Yeah, I thought so. It was like a comedy. Yeah. And there was a sequel. I haven't watched a sequel. Mm. Um, I quite liked the first one. It was okay. I thought the actor did quite well. There were some tonal problems and writing problems. but it was Shazam! Pretty, Shazam! Yeah, it was pretty good. Did he say Shazam in the first one? I think he did. Anyway. Um, comes out October 21st. Um... I'll probably watch it. Mm. I'll probably watch that in movies. I'm not desperate for it. No, I don't. I don't care for it. Okay, we got the last bit of news, ladies and gentlemen. My favorite bit of news: Thor. Thor. Love and thunder. We got the mighty Thor vs. Gore trailer. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, enjoy the motherfucking trailer. Yeah. All right. Okay. Um, I like it. It was short and sweet. It was good. So there were two trailers. Um, it, the link will be in the description. It will be in the description. It will be in the description. Um, there's two well, trailers stitched together. Um, I couldn't find the newer part of that. Yeah. Just by itself. So whatever. Sorry, yeah. you got to deal with it. Um, there's, so there are two kind of trailers stitched together. You've seen it. Um, I like it. I'm a fan. I, I am getting 
a their scamming pa- planets to kind of get paid vibe. Yeah, that's yeah. what it was. Because I was like, because he was being, you know, when Chris Pratt at the end goes, and here comes the best bit. Like they've said it before. Yeah. But in another shot before that, you see Thor dramatically saying, "And we'll end this fight today." And then he's fighting someone else that isn't Gore. Yeah. So I think they've done it before, or maybe it's either that, which I think would be a funny way to go, or I really hope it's them scamming. It would be funny because that's Guardians of the Galaxy level shit, you know. Yeah. I mean? But the other thing could be they've just helped so many people as the Arts Guardians of the Galaxy or whatever um, that you know they've just done this a thousand times and Chris Pratt, Chris Pratt's like, yeah, or Star Lord, I should say, he's like, yeah, this is my favorite bit of the speech. But um, yeah, like it's just it? like you know they that they, they basically they basically. Uh, you know, Thor loves being a hero, and then Chris Pratt, Star Lord, and stuff just enjoy getting the remuneration of the money of side of it. But Chris Pratt does everything because he's a god. Yeah, that'd be funny. That'd be cool. Like Chris it, Hemsworth, you mean? Chris Hemsworth, yeah. So I'm hoping that either that Chris Hemsworth is oblivious to like the fact that like old mates like he's scamming it, yeah, are, are scamming the system and like paying a you know pay us a fee and we'll be a sentry to your world. Well, yeah. Or you know whether whether it's then literally just scamming them. Yeah. That'd be hilarious if it well, scams. And, and you know what? To add on that, that's a good point. Chris uh, Thor's character is going through a bit of an identity crisis. Yeah. So it would be even funny if, if he was ignorant be a hero, of it. Yeah. And he was just like, I don't know what to do with myself, and oh, I'll just help, you know, because we're here. But I'm trying to think about who I'm trying to be, and then you know, whatever. It'd be funny if a scam. They're just doing really quests. Really gets him back into the hero. Yeah, business. they're just doing like a. They're not just doing like quests or like bounties or stuff, and it's just like. Oh, someone needs your help. Like someone needs the saving, and it's yeah. like, yeah, because it's like a five million dollar you know bounty. Yeah, and that's where he meets whatever. Yeah, Jane. Um, which speaking of Jane, I'm not too keen on her taking over, but I'm somewhat open to it. But I think a big part of that is because I don't really care about Marvel that much more anymore. Mm. Like I'm like, it's kind of like Disney Plus. Yeah. Having um, seven new Star Wars shows after Kenobi. Oh, we didn't talk about Kenobi. Um, seven. Seven more shows. Yeah. It's a fucking lot, man. And Mar- Marvel's going to do the same. They've got She Hulk. They've got they Miss Marvel's out. I can't Ms. be Marvel, bothered. Loki. Um, Loki was good. They're going to have. Here, I'll go. Um, so, yeah. No, no, you're good. Um, so, I'm not sure. Um, I'm going to do this again. Uh, I'm not sure what I think about her taking over, but, you know, she's taking over. Well, she's so. going to have to stack up on TRT then back down. Oh, otherwise, they're going to be a cop-out and go, like, oh, this, just is just, suit. this is just a transitionary phase, so the, the meatheads want her to have muscles because they thought had muscles, mm. and then, like, epi- the next episode, she has no muscles because, too bad, Chris Hansen's out, you know? Yeah, and, and the way I'm seeing, you know, I wonder how they're going to transition it. I'm thinking, is it because, like... It's going to be like a. Do you remember Batman vs Superman the movie with Doomsday and Superman? Mm. Is it going to be Thor and Mighty Thor, Jane Foster's character? They're going to fight Gore. Thor saves Mighty Thor, so Thor saves Jane, yeah. and then kills Gore, but gets killed in the same thing. And then you know, I'm I'm guessing it's probably going to be like whatever I wrote. You're perfect. He has to die. Or yeah, like Thor's going to. If he, I doubt he'll just retire. No, you know, he maybe, has to they'll do, maybe they'll do that so they can bring him back. If you or want. he, or they make him like the Asgardian king or something, but it's like basically disabled. Like yeah, or he just opts out of. He's a pacifist now. They like wheelchair him or something. Yeah, or like he'll just go like he'll he'll kill Gore, and he'll take in a lethal wound, and he's about to die, and he kind of goes like, "Oh, no one could do it better. Here's my blessing," kind of thing, and she now takes the torch, and that's that. If that's the case, I'm going to be like, oh. <sighs> Yeah. Schnoos, but that's the only way I can because they're going to have to make it seem somewhat legitimate to the fans. Yeah, I don't know. So we'll see how it goes. Um, this comes out July eighth, mm-hmm. so this is within the next week. Yeah, um, I'm keen. I'm probably trying to watch this in theaters. I'm going to try to watch it with theaters and me. And I think this is probably one of the last ones that if, I give a shit about. Yeah, like in our childhood, Tim. True, yeah, like I kind of was really looking forward to Doctor Strange because I quite liked Doctor that, Strange. Me too. Because um, I thought it was kind of like, people kind of thought it was average, but if that came out the same time as Iron Man 1, because they're basically the same movie, um, 
fucking they would have been like this is sweet and it's got better visuals I thought it was pretty good um, Doctor Strange is the same movie as Iron Man 1 yeah basically the exact same fucking movie rich dude has a fucking problem oh Have Doctor Strange a, 1 yeah. Is, yeah 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 sorry sorry I wasn't very clear we number 2 um, so yeah ladies and gentlemen recap um, I was about to go spieling but that's the news fucking done. You guys have to, you guys have to watch the podcast if have you want to Have an early spiel. minute. Uh, so we got season three C. You've seen the fucking trailer. Comes out August 26th. Black Adam comes out October 21st. Thor 4, Love and Thunder comes out July 8th. By the time you're watching this within the next week. Ladies and gentlemen. It's been an honor. It's been a pleasure. Toodaloo. Have a good fucking week. Get the fuck out. Bye-bye. Welcome back, guys. We're uh, we're back. Thanks for putting up with us. Um, yeah, I mean, going on you're saying about the the Doctor Strange, it would make yeah, sense. I'm kind of like done. Yeah. And I think too many shows is doing it for me. Yeah, it's it's fatiguing. Give me Daredevil. I'm happy. I'm a happy man. But fucking, you know. I just want to have like early two thousands TV like, movies again. Like, like you still have to watch, but like Punisher, Warzone. When it's like you have, like, you know, R18. I like, watched that yeah, a few months ago. Yeah, you saw it? Um, I'm not sure if it was Warzone. I watched one of the Punishers. Did you see the one where... The Island with his family? No, oh. no. That's... No, it's Warzone is the good one. Oh, that the one I watched was bad? No, 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 no. no. I'm saying like Warzone. I just... There's my favorite scene of all c- cinema. He puts his fist through someone's skull and punches the back of a wall. So I punch you in the nose... My fist goes through your face into the wall. Okay. It's but it's deadly. Okay. It's yeah, sick. I remember you showing me that clip. Okay. It's war zone. It's war zone. Was that the one where they fought the big Russian? No. Okay. Cool. No, it's confirmed. It's, it's confirmed. Italian mafias. Gotcha. Confirmed. Different one then. Yeah. Gotcha. Yeah. yeah. No. So I don't know. We'll see how it goes. Like, who else do you give a shit? And we'll wrap up soon. But um, yeah. Who else? Like, who else do you give a shit? We'll talk about Kenobi. Did you watch Kenobi? Yeah. What do you think? Quick thumbs up and thumbs down. Then we'll go back to. MCU. We're gonna do. Oh, I was gonna. How about we'll do Kenobi after, but then okay. we can finish up. Cool. Um, really, it was just Thor. That's it. Like I don't care about anyone else. Tony Stark died f- for no Cap's reason. Cap's retired. Cap's retired. Bucky, if they restore him to his former glory. Yep. I watch those. I watch those like to give the actors some respect. But like, you know, everyone else has died in the real life or not. I would love to see Nick Fury, like more of that. If I could see it, there were talks of getting it. a show. Just more Nick Fury related stuff. Would love that. Otherwise, can't. There's not much. Yeah, it'd be cool if he had like three agents. If he had a show, or like a mini show. Mm. So it was like good budget, and it wasn't shit. Mm-hmm. And they had like a he had to fight someone, and he had like three. Like it was a bit of a, an investigation show. Yeah, he had to like figure some shit out, and he had to send some spies and some superhuman guys to go, hey, go fuck off over there and figure it out. Mm. Then they're like, oh, shit, we got to fucking kill these dudes or whatever. Yeah. That'd be kind of cool. Yeah, because it's a bit messy right now with like all that, that chick from fucking Seinfeld like wrapping people up and making the evil. Oh, yeah. Um, making like, agent. But it's like weird shit going on. What's it's like, what is going on? It's too too much. Yeah. Whereas like, yeah. I did, the, the one show I did like, I did like Loki. Yes, that was good. That got shit on a bit, and I can understand I loved it. why. But I quite liked it. I loved it. It was, very, was, it was it was different. Yeah, it was different, and that was that was big character development, really good acting. Yes, and that was the biggest picture effect in the entire universe ever, ever, and like it was even done more well. than. Well, I guess um, what if? No, well, what if was more important. Um, but oh, fuck that. Besides, I still that, haven't seen what if because they don't like officially go. Yeah, this is you should watch this part of the, the yeah. Marvel. Yeah, it's kind of worth watching. Yeah, the, I'll, I'll spoil it for you because it doesn't really matter. No, I'll see it. But yeah, there's basically stuff in the multiverse. Yeah, yeah, someone gets control of the Infinity Stones, and then conquers that universe. Yes, and then realizes that there's a multiverse and starts conquering the multiverse. Mm-hmm. So that's the biggest thing because he did start fucking conquering universes and he was doing it um so i don't know um anyway but yeah loki was fucking great yeah as as for who oh, else spider-man I get... that's the one i care about yeah but if the new spider-man comes out cool new thor comes out like thor chris hensworth comes out cool we'll do that yeah because i don't know if they'll cap 
Because with Captain America, he's still got some contracts. Yes. So, like, they'll bring him back. They'll time travel or whatever the fuck. Because mm. now it's all fucked. It's, there's no yeah, chronological... So it doesn't really matter. Like, yeah, they'll just that's go right. up and we'll figure out time, time, time fucking travel. Mm-hmm. Um, whatever. So, I don't know what the fuck they're going to do. Um, Ant-Man. Mm. I've got a little bit of love for him. The second movie was shit. Um, but Ant-Man, if they do a good Ant-Man movie, that's cool. Who else? Hulk, don't care. Unless they gave me Hulk Rage, True Rage, but they're not going to do that because they merged him. That's it, really. Miss Marvel, I don't care about. America Chavez, don't care about. Uh, don't care. <laughs> don't care. Should be cool if she would like. Oh, Was they've it? got that Asian bloke. Uh, Shang Chi. Yeah. Don't care. <laughs> <laughs> He was kind of cool. Yeah, I, that was a I cool haven't seen that yet. Movie. I haven't seen that yet. Yeah, it's not really worth it. You don't need to watch it. You'll get it summed up. You could have it. I'll sum it up. No, I'll watch it because I've already seen the first like scene. But then I was like, I'm not awake enough to watch this. Yeah. He fought his dad. That's the movie. Yeah. And it ends. <laughs> That's it. Yeah. Um, there's dragons that fight. Yeah. It was pretty cool. That's it. It was shit like, yeah, whatever. Anyway, yeah. whatever. What else has come out? Nothing really. Doctor Strange. Black Panther's done. Didn't really care for that anyway. Doctor Strange. Doctor, it's basically Doctor Strange, somewhat Thor, Daredevil is number one. He's not even in the same, like, caliber. Yeah, you're right. He's better. You're right. No, like, seriously, he's not even in the same caliber. True. Like, in terms he of can MCU. He still beat up Spider-Man. MCU. He was in for, like, he just caught a brick. That was here for the whole MCU. All of the MCU. You haven't seen season one where they referenced Avengers. <laughs> Daredevil doesn't count a part of the MCU. It's just him catching the brick. Yeah, I don't care about the other Defenders, except maybe Jessica Jones. She was cool. Yeah, but that was so annoying. I tried watching that. I'm like, ugh. Yeah, she was okay. I'm a New Yorker. I'm like, I don't care. Yeah, fuck off. You and Danny Rand can fuck off. Yeah, Danny Rand especially can fuck off. Um, but yeah, I don't really care. Anyway, mm. we'll see what happens. If they bring something cool, then cool. I'll watch it. But yeah. I'm not really like where I was where I had to watch... Oh, the new thing's coming out. I've got to stay up to date. Because now, too many shows, it's too much of a time investment for me to stay Especially for all from Disney. They're like, oh, keep up with Di- keep up with Star Wars and keep up with Marvel. Yeah. I'm like, no. Speaking of Star Wars. Kenobi. Dude, thoughts? I went in to rewatch it because I watched it and I was like, oh, I felt good. But then I was like, maybe I haven't watched all of it. I feel like I did, but I don't know. I don't, I, Spoilers. Because we'll spoil the fuck I'm going to be honest with you. What was the last episode you remember? I just remember seeing... Um, because the last episode Anakin came out last week. Maybe I didn't watch it. Uh, I, just remember, I just remember seeing Anakin, Anakin Skywalker's face. In oh. The, was he fighting Obi-Wan as a Padawan? Yeah, but he looked old. Yeah, that's that's the fifth episode. There's six. There's one more. Okay. Fuck, I, I can't that. spoil it then. Fuck. Yeah, sorry about that. I didn't it's know. It's good. The last episode's quite good. Because I thought, yeah, okay, so yeah. It was just fighting that and... It's not a good show. All I know is I saw... All I think I saw is he saw... Maybe it's all blurred because I wasn't paying all that attention because I was like, this is not that great. I just remember him seeing Obi-Wan. Uh, Qui-Gon. Qui-Gon's ghost. Oh, no, you have seen it then. Mm. <laughs> you should. Play. I don't remember. I'm going to rewatch it because I'm like... Were you asleep or just not were doing something else? I was coding. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Well, yeah. Did you watch the true Obi-Wan versus Vader fight? Like modern day, it wasn't a flashback. I don't remember, okay. honestly. Because they're on a rock planet. And don't don't Darth remember. Vader crushed him with some rocks. Oh, yeah, no, I saw that. Yeah, that was cool. No, and then Obi was throwing rocks at Darth Vader. Yeah. Oh, uh, sick. He went god mode, yeah. yeah that was, was a cool part. Yeah, Even no, that that, was, I did watch that. Was that episode six? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah so that's I saw, the last I saw one. that. Yeah, yeah so I saw that. like, what's going on, my guy? I've been hanging out in the desert. Yeah, so, that's oh, it took your time. Yeah, yeah I remember that. He's no, like, I didn't remember that because yeah, because he was like, I was like, Tim, stone rocks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Abdul, dude, that's fucking yeah, Abdul, great. get the rocks, dude, dude. That's hilarious. We should edit ourselves on fucking Obi Wan and just have us doing that. Abdul, Abdul get, get the, the rocks. rocks, dude. That's fucking hilarious. No, um, and that's right. And then he he said Darth Vader said he killed he uh, killed Anakin. You didn't, I'm not your failure. Yeah, yeah, I killed Anakin Skywalker. Which was kind of very convenient writing for him to forgive himself kind of thing, but whatever. Forgive. Obi-Wan to forgive himself because he felt guilty for doing this. Yeah, but Darth him. Vader forgave him. Yeah, I don't know if he was forgiving him. I think he was just stating a matter of fact. 
he could see Obi Wan felt guilty. And he's like, I'm not your failure, dude. I fucking killed him. I'm happy yeah. I did it. Yeah, I don't right. think it was like, here, I'm he- trying to help you. He's like, yeah. the fuck do you feel bad for me for? Well, I fucking killed that guy. I'm a sick cunt. Yeah. They can't breathe. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so, yeah. I, I, was, I, I, I got teary. Like I got teary when he was like, God, looked like he was going to die. Oh, really? Yeah. He was like, Ugh. Oh, really? Because yeah. I remember just like back to episode three when he got yeah. burnt up. Well, I knew he wasn't going to die because he's in episode four. Yeah, obviously. Five and six. But I felt bad with Ewan McGregor like, Seeing his face, like that was good acting, man. Yeah, I was like, "Fuck." The, yeah, he's like, "I'm sorry." Yeah, all of it. I'm like, "Damn." Yeah, that, and then, but he should have killed him. Yeah, like he's like, "Oh, my fa- friend is truly gone. I will execute you right now." But th- did Jedi kill people? Though? Yes. You sure? But not execution, and he wasn't executing him. He's still a threat, dude. But like. Fucking kill him, dude. Yeah, but like, like through the saber style though, because I've been watching Clone Wars, mm-hmm. right? We only as much as we saw, but like they only kill droids. But it's uh, like in terms of, of human, people. I don't see them like slashing no. them with blades. Yeah, they do. They do. Um, yeah, they do. With like, we'll wait and see, because I haven't seen it yet. Yeah, I, well, think I, I haven't seen a single Jedi kill a single. See, yeah, I take my word. They fucking do. Where Anakin does some great war crimes. It's hilarious. On Clone. <laughs> yeah right. Legit, like false surrendering, and then has an ambush. <laughs> it's just like so many memes. No, I'm there. talking about like uh, like not droids, but humans. Like I want to yeah. see, I want to see people cut in half, like in Lego Star Wars. You know. Yeah, I I don't know if they might do that in the later seasons, but there's some like, yeah, like because um, that's what I'm like. Stabs okay. people in the back when they're like. Humans? Yeah, dude. Oh, okay. Well, that's right then. There's like legit like Obi-Wan can't... There's like this situation. It's not really a spoiler because you won't know the situation until mm. you see it and then you'll know what's going on. Obi-Wan is kind of with his, his crush who he used to, have a, used to date and yeah. then blah, blah, blah. So she's a pacifist. She won't kill this guy mm. who's pointing a gun at... Um, Obi-Wan. At whatever, one of them. Yeah. Obi-Wan won't kill him because then Duchess will see him as a murderer. So he can't do it. So this dude's just like stolen some shit and he's about to fuck off. Mm. And then um, Anakin just from behind stabs this dude in the back and he goes, <gasps> and just dies. And Anakin, Obi-Wan's like, he was unarmed. And Anakin's like, he said he was going to blow up the ship. Yes. And it's just like, whatever. So blase of just murdering yeah, him cold. and he does that a lot. Like he's like, he is like a lot more like, Thirty percent more like. Fuck and he it. did that we'll with that. With, did that with that bloody and third sister. Oh yeah. Straight up killed her. Punished her. To the fucking. Z- wish doom. Killed her, dude. But what happened to the? I'm so confused. Old man was back. Which one? The yeah, Inquisitor. A oh, Grand Inquisitor. He's His like, species. It- well, first of all, stab wounds mean nothing in Star Wars except against Qui Gon Jinn. Obviously, that's a rule now. Um, that species have two stomachs. Yeah right. That's the canon version. So ah. it's fine. Why Reva survived twice, being stabbed Who? in the stomach twice. Who's Reva? Reva, the black chick. Oh, yeah. All right. She as got a, stabbed as by Anakin as a youngling and yeah. got stabbed again by Vader yeah. and lived. And then somehow got to Tatooine without a ship. Yep. She didn't have a ship. The whole point of the rebels trying to leave that base and stall for time was because they were repairing the ship because the ship they had was injured. Yeah. Uh, injured, you know, damaged. Anyway, there were so many problems with the fucking show. Um, and I wanted to like it a lot. You know? I, I know. But it just wasn't it, man. Um, it wasn't that good. It was pretty shit, if I'm honest. Yeah, there's, there's, no, there's no pacing. The pacing stunk. And they're trying to pace it with, like, having young um, Leia. And it's like, no. She was shit. She stunk. She was shit, dude. It, it's just like when you have a friend. She was that, good towards the end when she wasn't in it. Yeah. <laughs> do, you remember, <laughs> like, do you remember when you get, like, a friend of a friend? Yeah. And then, like, they haven't got the rapport, so they start joking with you and, like, being too one of the early, boys. Yeah. And you're like, too early. Yeah. Earn it. Yeah. She went straight back to Lola rather than Obi-Wan. I'm like, dude, what the... Okay, whatever. Yeah. But, um, yeah, no. So I thought there was a lot of fucking problems with that show, man. Leia got captured and then let loose three different times in three episodes. Um, Obi-Wan, the trench coat, how did that work? Mm. Reva was deflecting... Blaster fire from a fucking ship. That's not supposed to work. Obi Wan got force grabbed. 
mid fight that's not supposed to work in episode like two or three that's not supposed to work. Well, he's an old man and weak and didn't, he's like his force hasn't been used. That was his like force. the only excuse I could see. As I think that's pretty reasonable because, like, he, like, but he already used the force again and he was fighting. But he wasn't fighting that well. No, but who cares? But he's getting dragged through the bloody fire. Fire. Yeah, which was so dumb. But, like, that's what I'm and saying. Then, and then, 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 now that there's a fire, yeah. Vader couldn't walk through that or put it out. He just put it out before. Like, what the fuck? There's so many like. Oh, that's right, because he oh, pushed it. He forced pushed it out. Yeah, there were so many convenient like. Oh, whoops, that kind of, and they didn't explain Vader catching the ship, which was fucking cool. That was so cool. He called and ripped it apart, and then another one was just behind it. <laughs> that was so cool. He grabbed it and stopped yeah, it. Yeah. I was like, my god. Yeah, people. Were I want them. I want the like TikToks, and it's like the cool music coming out. It's like, dun, 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 dun. like, like it's like the like the. It's like yeah, when Andrew that. Tate says some dumb sh- the cool thing. Like the, right now, the memes are like, City Boy! Okay. I sent you some. It's like, City Boy! Yeah, I'm trying to think. Um, the, the, the Patrick Bateman one you sent me was fucking All nice. of them, though. The 40%. But, so I can look like the victim, dude. That was but so it's all funny. The, all of the Chad ones, where it's like someone says something, and then it's like a co- compilation of like dudes doing cool shit, and it's like the beat. Yeah, you know? yeah. Okay, it's yeah. like, I can imagine like Darth Vader is like, whoosh, yeah. whoosh, ripping in half. He's a fuck. He's cool, man. But yeah, I thought the show was a bit of fucking disappointment, sadly. Um... But hopefully mm. they do better. Um, there's another season coming, so... Of Obi-Wan? Yeah. So fucking Confirmed. Stop! Yeah. Okay. We'll see what happens. But I should just unsubscribe, unplug. Yeah. Well, Netflix has lost a lot of subscribers because they're saying uh, they're going to put ads in yeah. Netflix. Um, and they swore back in the day they'll never do it. Yeah. So anyway, whatever. You, don't need, you don't need ads. No. Anyway, so anyway, the double dipping. Look, um, been a pleasure. Be good, guys, ladies and gentlemen. Speak thanks again. for watching. Maybe next time we'll um, we'll be doing it online, maybe on Zoom. Okay. Um, for the audience, so be prepared. Uh, it's technical teething issues, but we would like to get the show. We are both of us getting off on our feet, on our own feet and stuff. So we'd Personal like things are going on. Yeah. So we would like to get you know that done, but. There'll be a few teething problems with the show, um, but what it means is if we can get our show on on online on the air, um, that means that you know we can have guests on. And it'll be more natural because it's like okay, we have a guest on from America. What's up, pal? How you going? And it's like we already know how the system works because we've been doing it Don't for a couple of times yep. by ourselves. Yep. 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 So I um, hope you enjoyed the show, mm-hmm. ladies and gentlemen. We'll be back. Thanks for watching. Sooner or later. Mm-hmm. Um, can't tell you when shit's going on. Yep. Um, but sooner or later we'll be back to somewhat regular shows. Fingers crossed, won't be as scuffed. Scuffed, ladies and gentlemen. Thanks for it's watching. Been good. Toodles. Double deuces. <laughs>